All right. How is everyone doing today? We're going to be playing some more Armored Core 6. Getting into the new game plus, we're going to get the other ending. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, because then I'll get right into new game plus plus, which is a thing. There is new game plus plus. And apparently there's a third ending too. One thing at a time though, right? One thing at a time. So let's go ahead and knock this down. Looking good. Where's chat at? There's chat. Hype for the only mech stream. Indeed. Only mechs. Non-toxic is first. Rec reclaiming her crown. Lycan Metal says... Hey, yo, Ugly Gang is here. I wonder if I can make an ugly mech. Yankee Rebel and Lycan are early gang. Says, hey, y'all, how is it doing? Okay, well, so we're going to get the goody good good ending. Or at least I think this is the goody good good ending. You know, like, I'll, I'll tell you whether I think it is the goody good. You, you know, like... A lot of times the goody good good ending is not a sensible ending. Like, Fires of Raven was a pretty logical conclusion. We'll certainly see, though. Okay, so I believe we have new arena battles. Yes, yeah, so before we do anything, we're going to duke it out against the gamma models. So let me see what my armored core is set up as. So when we do the duels against the computers, I like to see them struggle against the missiles. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the... Struggling, struggling missile build. And then I, I want to keep the missiles kind of varied, so I'm going to do... I'm going to use all different launchers, actually. Yeah, how about this? Every launcher will be different for maximum confusion. Oh, I don't have that missile. Okay, well, it must be over here. Where is it? Is it? No, not this one. Is this it? Yeah, we'll try this. So we have a whole bunch of different kinds of missiles. So, we'll, we'll, oh wait, no, I needed to change my hand weapon. The reason we want a bunch of different, it, because basically with missiles, if they all have the same pattern, then they can all be kind of dodged in one stroke. But if they're all coming at different speeds, you might dodge some only to get hit by others. So that's why we're going to, um, have a whole bunch of different missile launchers. Also, let me change my fire control system to a missile focused on maximum missile lock correction. And let's see what we are dealing with. So this is our first duel. This is Gamma 1 integration subject 51-003K. Uh, it says, Integration Program Phase 3. Drawing from the evaluations thus far, Allmine has updated the Mind Beta model. So this is the Mind Gamma model. This new Mind model assembled from parts that have been verified for high compatibility with the traits of older generations of augmented humans. Allmine kindly requests that you test the revised model when the opportunity allows. Well, I've got an opportunity right now. We'll see. I'm thinking I might do a walkthrough of uh, Armored Core 6. Integration program. Initiating phase three. Looks pretty nasty to me. Plasma cannon. Please begin by engaging the revised Some kind of a rifle. Gamma in virtual combat. Commencing analysis. I mean, it doesn't look like a bad design, but you know, let, let's see how it handles the laughing one. Okay, we are in range. Now I can kind of just... Oh, okay. Looks like I do need to dodge. All right. Interesting. Going right into the pulse barrier. With his pulse barrier burned, he's going to have some trouble dealing with it now. 
Oh man, that was great. That was great. That was great. Escaped it there. Singed me a little bit, but not too bad. Looks like my passive dodging isn't quite enough. I do need to... Uh-oh. All of the missiles are coming in. Well, it was definitely better than Mind Beta, that's for sure. Target destroyed. Concluding analysis. Well done. Nah, still not blown away by it, but, you know, it, w it was better. I mean, the, its usage of the heavy plasma cannon worked out pretty well. I will say that worked in its favor. Wasn't enough to keep with the hopping movements of the laughing one, though. Can I use my normal body? Like, this body is always so goofy looking. Okay, good. I like that one a lot better. Okay, so... Wait, wait, that's the wrong thing. Okay, so this is Gamma 2, Analysis of Subject... 51-015 Gamma. Phase 3. The Rubicon Institute Research Institute was once the heart of coral research. There, the Institute's scientists developed ACs that have a distinct focus on the biological analogies between humanity and coral. Their ACs enable the two to complement each other and evolve in symbiotic harmon harmony. A fascinating approach. This seems to be kind of what um, Iyer is looking for. I recognize some of the components on it. It looks like it might be the ephemera model. Integration program, Gamma 2. Oh yeah, this is definitely the ephemera the model. Institute AC. This will be integrated into Mind Gamma. Looks like it has a moonlight blade. I don't know what those shoulder cannons are. They kind of look like plasma launchers. Main system activating combat mode. This battlefield is a little smaller, which favors the enemy more than me, because I want to kind of keep them away. Having a little bit of trouble there. Oh yeah, I don't know what those launchers are. There, there's some kind of like plasma-based missile, but it's a weapon that I don't have. Terminal armor's coming on. Ooh, got me with the plasma cannon there. Oh, we got him with the wacky missile. That's nice. Well, looks like the Research Institute was not a thing for the laughing one. Laughing one has the last laugh. Very interesting, though. All of these additional OST chips will be great for tuning up our armored core, though. We can get a lot of buffs with it. All right, we got another one here. So this is the Gamma. Uh, boom, interesting. It's Oh, it is. Like I thought that was Raven's armored core at first, but yeah, it is. It, it says right here, Nightfall. So this is Gamma 3, Analysis Subject 51-016, Gamma. Phase 3, Final Analysis. The independent mercenaries are the best representatives of coral theory put into practice. Each and every operation of their ACs determines the odds of their survival, and so they have no choice but to perceive their ACs as extensions of their bodies. That seems to be the theme of all mine. Like, they want, like, 
armored cores that feel like almost more like power armor, like you could control it with your mind or body or something. I guess that's why they're called All Mind. Your partner for this evaluation will be a recreation of a legendary independent mercenary who operates in the shadows, reproduced from the little data available. So this would be the other raven. His armored core's name is Nightfall. I've fought this armored core before, though. Phase three. This will be the final round of analysis. The last sample is the AC Nightfall. This will be integrated into Mind Gamma. Doesn't look like it's any different. Analysis. Missile launcher, songbirds, pile bunker, and I don't know, I think it's just a normal gun. System. Activating combat mode. Already got overloaded. Much too far to hit me. Come on. The, the like barrage of missiles of like varying speeds appears to be too much. Trying to corner me with the pile bunker. Not gonna happen though. And down goes Nightfall. The missile build is so good against the AI for dueling. Target destroyed. This concludes all rounds of analysis. We will assimilate the results into Mind Gamma. Now that we have so many different kinds of missile launchers, it's like a, just a continuum. We're like the real ball. We're like Balteus's bigger brother. 91 OST chips. Oh, okay, we're getting parts. We got the Shade Eye. Oh, I thought I was going to get more parts than that. I was about to get excited, but they only gave me one. Incoming calls. Oh? thus far has revealed some mission critical items for research this concludes the integration program's role the day will come when all minds evolution truly takes form that was kind of ominous feeling you completed all of the integration programs i wonder if that means the duels are complete or maybe we'll get even more Oh, I'm in offline? Well, it doesn't matter if I'm in offline mode. Um, okay, so we completed that. What is our next mission? Actually, no, let's go see what that head was. Where is it? There it is. Custom part derived from Scout AC head developed by RAD. Comprehensively rebuilt from by for combat by an anonymous independent mercenary group. This model takes some steps forward but sacrifices the minimalism of its predecessor. Looks like it's really balanced. You know, just want something balanced. It's cool looking though, very like jagged and menacing. Uh, let me see what mission we're on. Uh, oh, I remember this one. This is the Explore the Depths the, with the Nepenthes pl platform. So, in that case, I think I want some long-range weapons. And I'm going to equip something that can hit at long range. Maybe just the standard laser cannons. And then I'll just carry a pair of, um, I'll just carry, carry something simple. Maybe I'll zimzam people. Something simple. Overburdened. Um, I think we need to change the body back to the ephemera body. 
Oh, we can have the ephemera head. The ephemera head matches it a little bit better. Also, we don't need this fire control system anymore, so let's do a, um... I kind of want a long-range fire control system in this case. Because I'm mainly worried about being sniped. Okay, so we are going into Chapter 4, Underground Exploration, Depth Level 1. Destroy the target. Okay, we can do that. This is a mission we've already done before, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the debriefing and get right into it. Watchpoint Alpha. The ending we're going for this time is the Liberator of Rubicon ending. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Access the elevator and take it down. Okie dokes. I remember this mission. This is the mission where we gotta, like, descend. Did that drone just juke my attack? The elevator's locked out. We have no choice but to jump. Let's go, Raven. Watch out! Below you! That's the enemies. It's clearly a force to be reckoned with. Okay, down we go. I'm used to climbing up, not down. Ooh, ow, ooh, ow. Wait, the partition's moving. Can I charge dash downwards? Uh, yes, but charge dashing is not as fast as just sinking. I don't, I don't think you go as quickly. Yeah, like that doesn't really feel any, any particularly faster. Okay, if I remember right, yeah, that's right. Did you find an access point? Good job sniffing that out. Unauthorized access detected. Transitioning to phase one point five. What do we got? Okay, now we got plasma missiles. I think we can live with that, though. Or rather, we better be able to live with it. Honestly, the plasma missiles don't even do that much damage. Whoa! Nope, nope, nope. Not, o not over the edge yet. I think the key is you just have to count six attacks. Yeah, it shoots six times. No missiles, please. I don't really see any close-by areas, unfortunately. Well, I guess this is just going to be a longer one. Whoa, 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 no lasers, too, no lasers.
Okay, next time it shoots, I'm just gonna try to get right onto that. Three, four, five. Made it. That one looks pretty good to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's tracking you, six, two, one. Evasive action. Yep, thank you for shooting me. Just what I always wanted. Three, four, five, six. Oh, this is really far. You've got it in your sights now, six, two, one. Just need to get a little closer. Hey, that wasn't too bad. That might be the speed running strategy. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. I think I'm going to go for that one. One, and then one, two. Three, four, five, six. You're up close now, six two one. Destroy the target. Okay, I don't think it can shoot anymore. Raven, it'll be easier to immobilize if you aim for the neck joint. I'm aiming for the neck joint. Okay, there we go. It's such a weird level, like... Normally, you need, normally the, tr the struggle is climbing upwards, but in this one, the struggle is climbing downwards. Zedmaster says, if you had the shield, could you fall all the way down? I mean, when I go, when I try to reveal the S rank for this mission, I might try that. Because, I mean, it's not a very strong, like, you know, it's not hard to just take it out once you get to the bottom. It's just a matter of getting to the bottom. Um, let me see. Next mission. Depth 2. What is this one? Continue the... Oh, yeah, I remember this one. This one, we got to fight that. We got to fight the... Um, the 1AC. So, like, I need to get my Burninators ready. Let's get the Burninators out. Overburdened? Okay, let me knock my head down. There we go. Just enough. Also, let's change our fire control system back to close range. That's fine. A little bit of medium range goodness. Okay, so this is depth level two. We've already done this mission before, so... It should be fine. So I have been scoring some S ranks lately. Uh, it seems like the main thing you need to do is like speed run, like just r charge past all the enemies, kill only the enemies you need to. Let's go, Raven. This is where the survey begins in earnest. And you need to not take too much damage. That seems to be the main thing. You also have to, you you also have to beat it in one life. Now, I don't know if you get anything for getting the S ranks, but, you know, who knows.
Thought there might have been another one. According to the structural drawings, the route continues past this partition. Looks like the power's I think this is where we it's fight Iguazu. I can't completely remember. I don't remember Chapter 4 very well, to be totally honest. These are the guys who've gone crazy, I think. Because we are not on Arcubus' side. I think... So before I thought they blamed us for being on that side, but I think they just went mad, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, this is where we fight Iguazu. The heat exchanger section's up ahead. This is around where the cones lock for Balin's advanced squad cuts off. Yep, here's the man of the hour. That AC. It's head Don't fight Iguazu. He doesn't even get to finish his line. Yeah, next time for you, Iguazu is going to be um, next playthrough. I see. So this is the um, the enforcer. I forgot all about the Enforcer. Ow, that wasn't very nice. Using its hit-and-run tactics. Oh, he lived! Just barely, but... Okay, I remember this part. This is the part where we need to go around the side. Let's look for a ventilation duct. We're underground. There must be one somewhere. Coral has an instinct to gather together. I am no exception. I feel a growing urge to move forward. Ventilation duct identified. Looks like it's connected to the control room. I don't have time for you guys. Plasma burns through multiple enemies pretty efficiently. Okay, if I remember right... That's right, yeah, I had to go through one of these ventilation ducts. Through here. We're in the control room. Now let's find an access point. Looks good. Those are going to turn on, I bet. I forced the partitions and the elevators back online. The defense should be able to proceed. So much for your ambush.
I wonder how good our weapons will be against the Enforcer. Last time the Enforcer gave us a bit of a problem. Ah, good, resupplying. Okay, so we gotta duke it out with, um... The Enforcer. If I remember right, it shoots immediately. That's the enforcer, an AI controlled prototype developed by the PCA. It is designed to defend key watch point sectors to the intruders. They wanted it to stay hidden. AP at 50%. Basic maneuvers. AP at 30%. I wonder why it uses a two repair kits remaining. I wonder why it uses a um, a pulse gun. Like does it expect me to have a shield? This last bit of armor on it doesn't want to go down. Ripperonis. I actually can't remember why. Oh, that's right. We were looking for the city. That's why we did it. We we're looking for the city. I was like, why did we come underground? No new messages. Works for me. Continuing on. Explore depth three. Destroy the target. Okay, this has to be the one I was thinking of then. This is the one that has the, um, the ephemera. But we gotta get further in before we can make more decisions. Sure thing. Let's get ourselves a laser barrier. Watch your footing. You don't want to fall into those lasers. High level threat detected. Threat level eight. Defense phase four. Not nice. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, we're on board. Now to start ripping up these lasers. Fortunately, as long as the enemy doesn't notice it, these plasma cannons are pretty good at sniping. And those lasers are very fragile.
That's a bit bigger. What are you? Okay, we have cleared all of the laser turrets. I'm pretty sure we gotta go downwards in order to reach the reactor. Trace around the outside, 621. There must be a way in. I didn't get him. Here we go. Find the pressure chamber 621. Destroy it. The resulting overload will cause the reactor core to explode. You know, we still don't know. I, I still don't know what the PCA's motive is in all of this. Like, I can only assume that they are trying to prevent another coral explosion or something like that. That's my assumption. But you know, I honestly don't know why they're doing this. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. The pressure chamber is behind that partition. I still got plenty of ammo, so we should be okay. Oh, that wasn't enough. Let me get my energy back. Okay, here's the ephemera duel. It's got a moonlight blade, that's what that is. Terminal armor online? Out of my sight. Plenty of time, plenty of time. They made that take extra long on purpose. You've got a job to do, 621. Don't fail me now. Raven, you have to get clear. It's gonna blow. Brace for impact. All in a day's work. Okay, so we knocked out the ephemera way easier. Like, the Zimmermans are really good for dealing with uh, the faster armored cores. The laser barrier's weakening. The coral's near. 
Okay, we already know about this. We're trying to get to the part where we get to make some decisions. How is the trip underground, Walter? The enforcement system's silent. It'll try to take 621. Well, what about the corpse? Archibus told us to wait. So you're close then. Yeah. Looks like Archibus is gonna win the race. Short term, maybe. But and that's why I shouldn't be the one to choose. Sounds risky. Maybe. But I think 62. Okay, so I think we finally get to have our decision between, you know, th this time we're not gonna fight Michigan. Last time we did, this time we're gonna take the other mission. That'll be interesting. No new messages. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Raven, you've got a request from the Liberation Front to go with the order from Archibus. It was sent by Nettle Flatwell. He's the de facto leader of the Liberation Front, and he wants to meet you. Interesting. So what are our options? Now, we didn't do this one last time. Let's hear... Let's hear the, the, the debriefing. Got a job for you, 621. This one's from the Archibus group. Raven, this request comes from our affiliate, Schneider. First, I'll brief you on the state of conflict between Archibus and Balaam at Watchpoint Alpha. The Watchpoint's defenses inflicted heavy losses on Balaam's initial wave, with many deserting. More recently, they've engaged with our forces only to continue their downward spiral. Despite this, the Red Gun's commander, Gun 1 Michigan, remains alive and well. With his AC Liger tail being ready to lead the surviving Balaam MT force as we speak. We want you to intercept them, to hammer the final nail into Balaam's coffin. Should you decline, we have V4 lined up to take over. I don't think Rusty can beat briefing, Michigan. Awaiting your favorable reply. I, I think you guys are overvaluing Rusty. Okay, let's hear the other debriefing. So this is the mission we didn't do. This is the request for Metal Flatwell, the Liberation Front Commander. Raven, I'll get straight to the point. Archibus leads the corporate forces, emboldened by assimilated PCA technology. But they're still human. Tired from the endless conflict between powers. Open to an attack on their key forces. We want you to eliminate two of the Vesper's numbered officers. V5 Hawkins, their officer overseeing the transport corps. V8 Pater, his adjutant. We'll use false information to lure them out from their depth two survey, then ambush them. I will assist you on this mission. It'll be a good opportunity to catch up with a veteran. Okay, interesting. I look forward to your favorable response, Raven. Okay, so if we're going to be duking it out against multiple armored cores, I am going to redesign my AC for heavy, heavy damage. Big, big damage. Big, big gun. Humongous gun. Big honka da bonka, bonka donk gun. Where's the fat legs? Okay, we got the fat legs. I need to change my arms to something that isn't. I bought a bunch of arms, so we now. One of these arms will be good. Which one of these arms are gonna do it? Okay, so here's what, alright, I need to pick an arm. And then from here, we're going to look at whatever drops our weight. Arms overburden? No. 
That one's a little bit lighter. Uh, let me see here. This one's lighter. Okay. These are junky arms, though, aren't they? Oh, these... Okay, no, these arms are way better. Okay, that's way better. Those other arms were, like, junk or rony. Now, the reason for this is because if the arms are not overburdened, we can fix it. But if the arms are overburdened, then we can't fix it. So now what we gotta do is... No, the arms are... What? Did I read it wrong? I read it wrong. Okay, I gotta go through one more time. Arms. Lighter. Arms. Heavier. Lighter. Lighter, right? Lighter? Lighter? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, arms. Heavier. Arms. Arms. Arms and heavier. Heavier. Wait, what are these? The Basho arms can't handle it? Yeah, it's... Whatever. I, okay, we're going to do the Wrecker arms. So let me now... Sh we need to shed a little bit of weight, so I'm going to use a different head. Is this really the only head I can fit? Yes. Okay, we got to use the weird looking head. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me make sure I got the right generator. This generator's fine. And my fire control system, I want, like, mm, a lot of mid-range. That looks pretty good. Ah, uh, actually, I like that one. A little, a little bit of everything. But mainly mid-range. Okay, here we go. So we are going to ambush the Vespers. So this is a new mission. The last time we took on Michigan, this time we are not going to do that. We're going to take out the Vespers. Vesper 5 Hawkins and Vesper 8 Pater. That's good because uh, we'll probably get logs for that as well. Zen Master says Rusty is the goat. Yes, and I like uh, eating goat. When it's seared with like a laser just right. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. This will be a joint operation with Metal Flatwell, the Liberation Front Commander. <laughs> we have so many. Look how fat these They're lasers coming, are. Raven. Whenever the moment is right. Look, sir. That's nothing. No, looks like we've got wrecked instead. Peter, open fire. The enemy has spotted us. This was supposed to be an ambush, you fool. Too late now. We'll try brute force. I am the ambush. He's an agile one, isn't he? Okay, I'm gonna switch to a pursuit strategy. We need to travel lengthwise. I need him to chase after me. There we go. Middle Flatwell got owned? He was fighting one-on-one -on -one and he got owned.
I can't believe we got owned. Always a pleasure, sir. I'm genuinely surprised. I am honestly surprised. Like, I'm surprised how slippery of a target he was. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. This will be a joint operation with Metal Flatwell, the Liberation Front Commander. They're coming, Raven. Whenever the moment is right. Look, sir. That's nothing to. No. Looks like we've got rats too. Dead. Vader, open fire. This was supposed to be an ambush, you fool. <sighs> Too late now. I'll try brute force. Raven! Is this how we meet person? So the other one's Uncle Flatboy. The Liberation Front's big cheese. Look alive, Peter. Yes, sir. This will be fun, sir. Fashioned augmentation hasn't let you down. Well, you always were a hard worker. Middle Flatwell sucks. No wonder you need to ambush people, Flatwell. You suck. I didn't jump. Wow. I wish it could have been me. I'm surprised these guys are as tough as they are. Like, I, I'm genuinely like, I, I'm like, do I actually have to take them seriously? This was a, a fun. Okay, fine. I, I, if they want me to take it seriously, I'll take it seriously. I, I will bust out the weapons. I, I didn't think they would actually put up a fight. That's fine. Where is the mind alpha? Okay, so so if that's how they want to do it, okay, fine. That's fine. I I will take the fight seriously. I I will use the serious business weapons. Where is the other? Like, now that I have so many arms, I don't remember which arms are the one I'm supposed to use. Mind Alpha arms are fine. They're not that big of a deal. It, it'll work. And I'm going to change my fire control system to maximum short range. Okay. Main system. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. This will be a joint operation with Metal Flatwell, the Liberation Front Commander. They're coming, Raven. Whenever the moment is right. Look, sir. That's nothing, too. No, looks like we've got rats instead. Painter, open fire. The enemy has spotted us. This was supposed to be an ambush. Too late now. I'll try brute force. Raven, is this how we meet the person? See the other ones, Uncle Flatboy. The liberation front of big cheese. Look alive, Baron. Yes, sir. This will be fun, sir. 
Don't worry, you're gonna join him. Bullied. How about this? I set settled down, guys. We're war buddies now. Maybe I'll find a comrade in you yet. It's like don't don't make me break out the good weapons. Okay, so we got two gold logs, and we leveled up our hunter rating, and we get the multi-energy rifle. That sounds interesting. Let's take a look at what this multi-energy rifle is. One new message. About the request to attack the red guns. Sounds like V4 Rusty took care of it. Michigan's dead. Heard he went down fighting. Balaam's withdrawn from Rubicon. The politicians will be fighting their war now. Where there's coral, there's blood. That's how it's always been, 621. I'm gonna press X to doubt on that. I, I wanna see the, uh, I wanna see the replay footage. Raven. There is no way Rusty could Are beat Michigan. Like, there is no way Rusty could beat Michigan. Okay, so this is the Unknown Pursuer. Alright, here we go. Unknown Territory Survey. 621. We're picking up where we left off. Now that you've dealt with the laser barrier, we can explain- we, We've already had this debriefing, so that's fine. I'm gonna continue using this since we're gonna have to, like, waste Rusty. Don't worry, I'm ready either way. Okay, downward do we go. Make your way down to the next depth. Something's jamming the radar. It must be interference from the active coral. Rely on your eyes. Is it, did I seriously miss this? Comms record, message for uncle. Comms record extracted from a wreck appears to have been left by the, an RLF messenger who infiltrated earlier but was killed by the corporations. I have to get back to uncle. Furlong agreed to provide technological assistance. Now the new model can finally be completed. He has to know before those two destroy each other. Don't know what he's talking about, but that that's fine. I bet I don't even need to fight these. to 
say it, but Rubicon still needs me. So, buddy, who needs you? Well, it's definitely a different fight. Oh, I was killing the wrong guy this whole time. Alright, get out of here, Rusty. Isn't over yet. Get your rusted up ass out of my sight. Buddy. Find your purpose. Then we'll settle this. Telling me to find the purpose when you're getting your ass beat? Coming in jump surprise. mode two on one? Jump mode two on one, and you still get your rusted ass I'm beat. Up a major coral response coming from the bottom of the pit. Let's keep moving, Raven. Institute City. Of course, no wonder we couldn't find it. before the corpse move in. Head back to base and rest up. Okay, I was wondering if this scene would be different, but I guess not. Oh, I got another, um... Log. I got a gold log. I'll take it. And let's check our progress to see how we did, if we got all the logs or not. Yeah, it's because you're crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Incoming con. Let me tell you a story. Okay, we already know your story. We've heard that already. Okay, let's go to Sorty mission replay. Let's go to the bottom and let's see. Destroy the ice worm, intercept the red guns, ambush the vespers, good. Oh, so we got an alternate version of that. The unknown territory survey alternate variation. That's cool. And we did get all the logs there as well. So that's good news. Also check out these S ranks. Fat stacks of S ranks. I skipped this alternate mission. We'll hit this alternate mission next on New Game Plus Plus, I guess. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to duke it out with what's it called this time? 
I'm gonna try a different strategy. Oh, I don't have that weapon. There it is. So we're gonna do the Mega Puncher. And then on our left back, we're gonna do the pile driver. So we're gonna try a melee build on this one to see how that works out for us. Hopefully it works out all right. I'll be very sad faced if it doesn't work out for us. And I think I'll keep those the same. We have a little more weight, so I might bump some of our parts a little higher. Or maybe I can bump my legs down. Is there a different set of arms I can use? Melander C3 arms. Actually, let's use the Basho arms. Basho arms. The reason we want to use Basho arms is because they have a very high melee specialization. Also, we can spend some of our OST chips. Where is the melee one? Okay, let's let's spend some points in the melee. There we go. That looks nice. I don't need any of those because they're incompatible with one another. Can I just get all of these? Do I just I think I have enough points to just grab all these. These are all just extra damage. And I'll grab these. I mean, I guess, why not just grab these? Can I also, is there enough points to grab literally everything in the game? There you go. Performed all operating system upgrades. Okay, I guess you can have everything. That's good to know. Also, what was that gun that we got? You remember that gun? Here it is. The multi-energy rifle KRSV, a multi-energy rifle developed by Allmine, capable of laser, plasma, or combined fire. This weapon is equipped with two-stage charge system that provides a choice of firing modes. That sounds interesting. So that's a plasma. Oh, or you can charge it into a laser. That's kind of neat. Oh my god, you can supercharge it? That seems pretty crazy. Holy crap. Might try that sometime, but not right now. Alright, I don't do melee too often, so it might take a little bit of practice to get used to this strategy. But if it works, I think it'll do a ton of damage. From here on out, I... Never mind. Just trust your instincts. Because it should do an absolute truck ton of damage, assuming I can actually land my hit. The voices are so close now. Yep, 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 the voices in your head. You're the voices in my head. Commence mission. Let's go, Raven. V2 Snail, come in. Requesting backup. We have insufficient force to ensure success. That was that was a massive miss. Wrong button.
I'm targeting I'm targeting the little crappy enemies. Here we go. Oh god, that did a lot. So I finally executed it better, but it takes a bit of practice. That was the wrong weapon. Okay, so I'm getting the hang of it. It does so much damage when you actually hit. My apologies for the disturbance, V2. So basically, uh, it doesn't have very good vertical trajectory. Like it doesn't go up and down very well. So you got to you got to be kind of a little more. You got to be a little more level with them. That's one of the problems. Also, although it does have pretty far reach, you still want to be pretty close to him as well. So what I'm going to do is just... Where did you go? Blasts them. It's like just get blasted. So the reason we're using this setup is because I'm going to use it against the uh, the Ibis Angel. The vascular plant. It's still here. He must mean that gigantic structure. <laughs> I'm going to mega punch a wheel. It works for me. The main problem is like, I'm not used to this technique. And it requires very different button inputs to do. That wasn't very nice. Don't worry, I will mega punch the crap out of you so bad. Who did that? Oh, 
Oh, you're still alive, are you? The main thing is like switching between the two shoulder weapons, because basically, when you use two arm weapons, you gotta like switch back and forth between them. And like, I'm not used to doing that. Okay, let's see how long it takes us to beat the stupid angel. We'll see if this is a working strategy. The big damage strategy. Okay, we're gonna. What we need to do is, the in the beginning of the fight, that's our best opportunity to practice against it, because the 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 angel always does the same initial attack. Nope, that's way too slow. Although I was impressed by the da I will say I was impressed by that damage. I want to see if we can actually get the combo on it. Hmm. Our impact just isn't enough. I'll try one more time. Maybe I'm not fast enough. That's also possible. Like, maybe I need to switch quicker. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's not going to work. Darn, I thought that was going to be a good strategy, but... I gotta let it take me out so that we can switch weapons. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to, like, experiment with weapons that actually are going to be good against this boss. Like, weapons that just do, like, a truck ton of damage. We need lots of damage. So, I want to try... I want to try double plasma, to be totally honest. I think double plasma could actually be big, because I, when I know it's using that attack, I could charge the uh, the attack up. Wait, that's, I got an interesting idea. What if we do double plasma, double charge plasma, and then into the rocket punch? That could be a thing. Let's try that. Let's try that. I got an idea. Yeah, I mean, it works. Let me get closer. I, I let me get closer. Let me get closer. I want to hit. With, I want to connect with both hits. Why didn't I shoot with both? So for some reason, I didn't fire both of my plasma cannons simultaneously, which like lowered our damage. That's a good bit of damage. I think we could agree that's a decent bit of damage. It's not like the most... I've, I've seen even bigger damage, but that's pretty good. I mean, it's it's. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it overall.
It feels very satisfying. I will say that. It feels very satisfying. Silent. Very satisfying. It's coming back. It's reactivating. Is this what the Ibis series is truly capable of? It's a It's it's a pretty simple combo too to be honest. It's like it's not that hard to pull off once you kind of get the basic feel of it down. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? My second plasma cannon didn't go off again for some reason. I guess I didn't, I guess I didn't fully charge it on accident. Okay, I do have to dodge that one. Coming down to the hit. Okay, so we gotta charge our plasma cannons fully. Like that's one of the big problems. We're not, we're not, when we only fire one plasma cannon, we don't get the hit, unfortunately. Also, the shotgun is useless here. It's too far away. So I'm gonna swap out the shotgun because we can probably get one more hit in. I'm gonna use the medium laser rifle because we can at least get a hit with it there. Well, I messed that one up, but still did okay damage. Once again, there, the problem was I was too, too much verticality. Once again, good damage there. I mean, I, I'm not unhappy with this strategy overall.
Honestly, I'm really liking the plasma cannons. They, they've quickly become one of my favorite weapons. Really? I missed. So, in order to evade the claw, I need to not stop. The claw attack can be evaded if I just jump and then go straight upwards. But if I stop, I can't jump immediately. Like, there is enough time to evade the claw, but you gotta jump immediately. Clipped me, but not too bad. He still clipped me, wow. You've nearly got it, six, two, one. So that was the same mistake. Damn. I forgot that he's vulnerable afterwards. Like I fired I fired but oh yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to shoot afterwards. I wonder if a simpler solution is to just shoot afterwards. Let, let's try that. Maybe maybe we could do more damage just by shooting with the the biggest lasers, our hardest hitting weapons possible. Maybe I'm just trying to be too fancy. Because I honestly, like I said, the, um, the plasma cannons are doing a really good job, to be totally honest. I need to use the wrecker arms, and then I gotta, let's drop the head down. There we go. Let's try this out. Let's just go for pure shooting power. That was good then.
Okay, good. What if I charge all of them up simultaneously? Wait. It's coming back. It's reactivating. Is this what the Ibis series is truly capable of? It's Okay, here we go. Damn! I can't believe that took me out! Wow! How much damage did that do? Okay, that's fine. We're gonna try all... We're gonna charge all of the weapons simultaneously. Ma everything is gonna... We're gonna charge everything up. The biggest attack. I missed! Okay. We gotta land all the hits. We gotta land all the hits. I gotta see what everything combined does. I didn't charge up my other weapons. I'm not used to charging them all up simultaneously. All of the weapons simultaneously. Eh, about the same amount of damage. It's still pretty good, though. It's a, it's a little simpler. It seems about equal overall. Repaired a little early there. That was not good. I should have just dodged. I'm getting lazy on it. I know that's what he wanted to do there. I know you're going in for the close one. At least we're getting big damage strategies, right? I didn't even need to follow up there. Okay, here we go. Okay. What are you going to do? I'll just get some hits in there better than nothing. What you got for me?
Okay, there we go. One thing I like about the lasers is even when it's not staggered, the lasers, they do a lot of damage. That's the advantage of the lasers, is even when the enemy isn't staggered, they still hit really hard. First on chapter, we'll see you later. Says, hey, hey, everybody, how's it going? We are trying to unlock all the missions in this game. And now that we knocked out Ibis, that should be most of the hard fights. Snail. Okay, so last time we got the, um... Yeah, I, I mean, I learned that the... From fighting the Ibis Cell, I, re I realized that it mainly counterattacks. Like, if you don't shoot at it, you'll have a staring competition. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be trying to do, is to get the rest of the parts. Going through all the new game pluses certainly gives you a lot of money, too. Raven? Oh, so we get captured anyways, I guess. Main system. Activating combat mode. Okay, so we got to do this part again. I've only done this mission once, so I don't have it all memorized, unfortunately. You should wear at a disadvantage. Let's find a way around them. If they do spot you, your left hand weapon is equipped with jamming rounds. ECM! Damn it! I can't lock on! Raven, now's our chance. Yeah, pretty sure I gotta go this way. Here's our way back to the surface. Oh, so much faster this time around. This is V5 Pater, calling all security team members. You can't be V5 Pater is dead. Wait, Pater. That did like nothing to him. Wow. Okay. Using my assassination tactics. See you later, losers! No, I think... Okay, I, I was too busy thinking. I think someone got promoted to V5. Because V5 was Hawkins. So, someone got promoted to V5. And by promoted, I mean somebody got, like, owned. And, like, they replaced them. I doubt it was a promotion so much as it was a... Gosh darn it, let me up. Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up. I'm hiding behind the cover. Ow! It didn't work. I got it anyways. Can't get me here. I'm gonna hide right here. Been a while, tourist. Good to see you're still kicking. Chief's coming to pick you up. Head to the rendezvous point. Give me the rendezvous point. She must be involved with Walter's mission. Ow. Yeah, we'll, we'll just call it field promotions. It's like, I gotta get into point-blank range and blast them with the mortar. I've got enough ammo here. It's all good. You don't want to do this, buddies. No, there's not. There's only like two left. Wait. I'm picking up something else. Hey, tourist. Okay, and then Carla comes in. I'm gonna kick your butt. Oh, how about that?
The, the only good way, well, I guess the ECM jammer is okay as well, but. I can't believe we're gonna betray Cinder Carla. Man, the, the liberation ending is gonna suck. Have some ECM. What happened to Walter? This is my chance to find out. Like, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. I'm gonna listen carefully this time. What happened to Walter? Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. Incoming comms. Back in your old AC? The fact that you're still alive means that Walter... All right. It is... I'll get you introduced with the next mission. Walter got taken? Taken by who? I, I, it's like, did they not explain that part of the, st of the story? Defend the city? Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm going to convert back into... Oh, no, no, we're going to use the big laser build. The big laser build should be good here. The laser build should be nice. These lasers sear through people's flesh. They're robot the flesh. I don't want to hear your stories, Carla. I've, I've already heard it once. If it's not a new mission, I don't care. These lasers are so humongous. They, they, weigh, as, they weigh more than a lot of shoulder weapons. Don't we get turrets? I'm pretty sure we get turrets. I'm pretty sure we get turrets. Turrets. Give them the old RAD welcome. Turrets. We have to see this through. Okay, fine. I'll destroy these guys first. Now they're going to be like, oh, there's turrets, Don't by the way. The tower, tourist. We've got access to support weaponry. Use them if you need the help. Okay, we got the big guns up and ready. I missed? Excuse you! Stop, criminal scum! You violated the law! Wait, that makes me the PCA, never mind. You, you might want to send more guys, like, you haven't damaged the shield yet. You might, you might want to send more enemies. I'm just saying. 
Ah. Tourist, go clear them out. You want to land? You don't want to land. Another sniper. Swore they don't they send like kamikazes or something? I don't know how you're supposed to get those. Maybe with a machine gun. I love the jumping capabilities of the chicken legs. The big shot. Give me 30 seconds and we'll have full admin access. Just a little more tourist. No, you don't. They already played their big card with the heavy cavalry. Okay, this mission's over. This is not a bad mission. Five minutes, almost 100,000 per each. Objective taken within 20%. Probably get more even if you, if you save the, uh, the, the shield generator. Okay, we already know this part. All right, so I think our next decision should be coming up. No new message. Okay, I think this is where we get to make another decision. Let me check. Yes. Okay, so this time we are going to fight Cinder Carla. All right, so I'm going to convert into something a little faster. I'll, I'll use yeah, 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 I'll just use this. It's not that big a deal. Unless she's really evasive, then I'll have to switch to, like, the Zim Zimzammer or something. Okay, so we did not do this mission last time. We're going to do it this time. Eliminate Cinder Carla. This seems kind of fucked up, you know. Carla didn't do anything to us. I guess she tried to street clean us, but... Destroy enemy AC. Eliminate Cinder Carla of Overseer. Overseer is planning to burn the coral to extinction. I want to keep that from happening. The only way to stop the Xylem's ascent is by seizing control of its systems. And that means we have only one choice. We'll take advantage of the confusion while the corporations and Overseer are fighting and eliminate Carla. I don't know why we would do this. 
betraying Walter's last wishes and taking on Carla. But still, I want you to give me a chance. Why would we do this? I'm not asking Walter's hound, but Raven, the independent mercenary. Why would we do this? This seems so dumb. Like, why would we ever do this? I was hoping you would take the job, Raven. Thank you. I don't understand the logic of taking this job. I guess we'll see, though. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. As always, I'll support you. Carla has taken up command in the reservoir dome in the Xylem's court wing. You'll make enemies of both the corporations and overseer by doing this. Please, be careful. Is that snail? I'll fight snail. It's an ambush! Oh, that's snail. Just wait till I charge this shit up again. I'm charging it up! He's got the big punchy arm. Don't worry, I'm charging it up again. Oh, he got me with the stun. Okay. Not bad, Snail. I wasn't taking it terribly seriously. Okay. Okay, Snail. I, I will sit up for the fight. Alright, you guys gotta go away. Like, Snail and I, we, we have to have words. Oh, he's already attacking, okay. As I was saying, you guys need to get out of the way. That time it was a miss. I see, so what he wants to do is stun you with his stun gun, and then he wants to give you the old uh, Drillinator.
right there. His AC recovers from Stagger pretty quickly. I happen to know that your weapon is not very good at going up and down, Snail. Hmm, that didn't sound like a death sound. Yeah, okay, so he's withdrawing. I'm guessing that gas is bad. I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that gas is not good. ACs with an S? I guess it's gonna be a two on one. Let me tell you my motto, tourist. Get your laughs while you can. I don't know what you're up to. That's a lot of missiles. They have like nothing but missiles. You know what we're dealing with. Pin that tourist down. It's a lot of missiles, is all I can say. It's like constant a I probably should be going for chatty. Okay, we'll go for chatty first. Chatty's in the tank treads up top, and I don't think he'll be as evasive, so we'll try that. We'll go after chatty first. Oh my god, it's like just constant ACS stagger. It's a lot of missiles. A lot of missiles. Let me try um, switching to the laser shotguns. The shotguns are heavier, really? We'll do this again. What if I break out the EMP on them? Actually, I got a, a, a simpler idea. What if I just fight underneath the ring? He can't target me if I'm underneath the ring, right? Shetty. Yeah, even better idea. Yeah, I'll just fight underneath the ring. How will he hit me now? Thank you. 
a simple tactical adjustment. She's dead, tourist. You have made a big mistake. You're making this hard. I can hear the chief laughing. The lasers do so much damage. So much damage. The lasers just like burned right through Jenny. I barely got anything from that mission. Stinking cheapskate. Two platinum logs and a gold log. And we leveled up. A new booster. The NGI 001. Interesting. I wonder who the final boss will be. Maybe it'll be Snail. Super Saiyan Snail. No new message. Carla had planned everything. Even her own death. Just like Walter, they both wanted someone to inherit their legacy. The Rubiconians are continuing to resist the corporations on the ground. Even now. The potential of humanity and coral isn't the only thing we have to protect. Raven, there has to be something we can do. Okay, so we are on a different path than we were before. Chapter 5, destroy the drive block. Destroy the large sky mirror sk skir skirmion generators. Located throughout the Xylem's drive block. Okay. Stick with the big lasers. I'll explain our mission. Carla's last strike has rendered the Xylem inoperable. There's only one way left to stop it from colliding and igniting the coal. We have to take the whole thing down. The lower drive block is powered by large skirmian generators distributed throughout the area. If we destroy all the generators and stop the ramjet engine in the upper city sector, then we can crush the Xylem into the Aulian Ocean without impacting human life. One more thing. I took the liberty of using your name to rally allies to our aid. Beyond scorched skies, Raven fights on. No one has shaped Rubicon's destiny as much as you have. Come and see what the name Raven means to them. I still don't understand why we would be doing this. This this pathway seems like such a zero IQ pathway. I would have blown up the coral so fast. Oh well, more missions, more logs, more boss fights. I mean, this is the path of the mass genocider. Like, this is the bad guy's path.
every Rubiconian who heard your cry rose up to fight. Let's like, show them this is basically... This ending is basically... Let's give everybody nerve gas. Like, let's release nerve gas into, like, the universe. Propagating nerve gas. I'm guessing we don't need to go this way. Let's clean up, buddy. It's like it's trying to be so heroic, and yet we are we are doing the dumbest thing we could possibly be doing. We are listening to some wacky energy chick who has told us nothing about her plan of what she wants to do, despite the danger of, of the coral substance. Like, we know nothing about it, and we're just gonna go along with this idea. Like, oh yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. You know, it's uh, tr trust me, bro. J just trust me, bro. That did a lot of damage, holy macaroni. What is this thing? You can't shoot me here, can you? Okay. That powerful ass gun is dead, good. Yeah, yeah, great, great help there, Rusty. Rusty is so, so useless. He's coming in and slashing the mechs that I've already destroyed. Okay, there must be a way in there. I'm guessing that the entrance is out here. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. I see, the way I was supposed to do it is I was supposed to keep taking cover. What did you do, Rusty? You suck. We don't know what the coral... We know it explodes extremely violently, and it propagates extremely rapidly. Why did my- my weapon's uncharged, why? Why would it do that? So Carla rebuilt the Street Sweeper? Rusty is actually making this harder. 
this would be easier without Rusty. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god. Rusty is actually making the mission harder than it needs to be. No, they just want me dead. They don't they don't care about you, Rusty. I'm not your buddy, Rusty. Please get out of here. looking for oh I'm looking for the generators There's only one person who can keep up with me okay that's another generator All right, so I'm guessing the other one is on the opposite side. I'm I'm supposing that things are symmetrical. So let's try going... No? The fact that I'm finding enemies must mean I'm in going in the right direction. Oh, I killed it by accident! Right. How about giving me a waypoint? Something said it's straight for your position. I've never seen something move that fast. They must have finished work on Beltaeus. How do I get out of here? Your your waypoint is useless. Where do I go? The waypoint is useless. Oh, okay, here we go. I found an edge, a way through. All right, we're back in business. It's a super version of... It's a new version of the Beltaeus, wow. This is an interesting fight. That's cool, I like how there's totally different bosses. Might be me too, but he's second to 
done. Stay focused. One, repair to the remaining. Here we go. Giving him the hop adapt treatment. Oof. He gave me the like recharges shields violently treatment. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my uh, the sonic guns. All right, so since it's he's, it's like a different version of the same thing, we'll just use the sonic guns on him. That will absolutely shred through his shielding. I'm glad Snail got an actual boss fight. Snail is probably my favorite character. So, like, I'm glad he actually got, like, a real boss fight. I need to get closer. I couldn't heal? Why? I was even pushing the button. I was even pushing the button. It's like, no, you don't need any healing. That's fine. What I like about this Balteus fight is that it has no missiles at all. It's like a totally different variation of the Balteus. I'm going to use one of mine uh, more offensively. So this time it let me heal, mysteriously. Oh, he does have missiles. I lied. Stop this big attack. Ooh, I healed just in time. I need to get closer. Whoa, what the hell is that? Damn. Okay, his, his new Archibus does not play around. Okay, so it moves too fast for the plasma cannons. The plasma cannons aren't getting their full saturation. Like, the plasma cannons, like, they need to kind of soak in it for a while. It's like making a stew. So I'm going to use weapons that don't do that. I'm going to switch to the big shotguns. These weapons don't have the problem of needing the stew. I do need to get close, though. That is a downside to it. When we do keep him trapped in it, it does a ton of damage, but I, I, can't, I I'm not getting it frequently enough. Oh, 
At least that doesn't hurt too bad. So damn fast. He's escaping! Oh my god, I didn't see it! My armored core was blocking! Man, like, getting into range with him is really challenging. Maybe I need a long-range weapon. Maybe I'm fighting too much at, um... Maybe I need to try to hit him at range. Let me try the spikes. These will require more timing, unfortunately. Like, I won't be able to just spam these. The problem is, like, his thrusters are so strong that he, if, if he wants to get away from you, he just gets away from you. Oh, he still got his shielding. Out of my sight, you suck. That traitor V4, those dogs at command. And worst of all, you, the pest of Rubicon, who stirred the cinders. You sick of it, all of you. I'll crush you on the foot. I am Archibus. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, a little bit of range was what we needed there. Now we can't, like, ruin my, like, strategies anymore and make the game harder than it needs to be. Okay, that was a pretty cool mission, though. I will say, that was a cool mission. Very cool alternate boss. But who's going to be the final boss? Augment 
Detected human, C-4621. Entering standard mode. Okay, so this is the final mission. It doesn't even tell me anything about it. So let's redesign. We're going to go into a more standard build with the Zimzams. Zimzams into plasma cannons. And then we can trim our arms down as well. Back to the Melander C3s. And I should be able to change these as well. That and the head can go back. And what fire? What's my fire control system? That's fine. I'm fine with that. Uh, okay, let's give it a shot. So this is the final mission of this alternative playthrough. The Xylem is beginning its descent. Now, we just need to destroy the ramjet engines. Let's put an end to this, Raven. We're going home. To Rubicon, the world you saved. Right, right. I'm sure. I'm sure we are. We'll also need to prepare for reentry. Be ready to escape once we're finished. So who's going to be our who's our last opponent? Who could be left? Who could be the the last opposition? Okay, I mean, I'm gonna kill the engine. Who's gonna stop me? I guess nobody? Kind of creepy. It's like an empty city now. There's not a damn person here. What's happening? That's a coral-based weapon. It's an armored core. Six, two, one. Oh my god, is it Walter? Is that... Is that you? Okay, so I guess we know what happened to Walter. Picking up a coral response. Watch out. Operations. Walters. No. Of my friend's mission. Eliminate all obstacles. Whatever they did, you're in danger. 
Ooh, that does a lot. Oh my god, that was a... He dodged right into it. Wasted. Okay, that means Snail was the real final boss. Wait, is there phase two? Don't act like you care about Walter Iyer. Raven. One day, humanity and Coral will thrive together. You kept our potential safe. I know Walter feared a collapse. But I promise you, there's another way. You just believe me, bro. Have faith. Raven. We'll find it together. Okay, so that was the Liberator of Rubicon ending. Oh, that ending was painful. Like, I'm just, like, shifting uncomfortably in my seat with how, like... Th this ending is so stupid. I'll tell you why it's stupid. We know so little about the Coral, other than that it is incredibly explosive. Like, to the point that it's, it's basically a world nuclear threat. And our only reason for pursuing this is because this crazy cyber personality AI coral being who never tells us how, you know, like, she never gives us any reason why the coral is not extremely dangerous and how, how the coral won't replicate out of control. Because, like, what, what Walter is concerned about is that coral replicates so rapidly that it will expand past the planet. And there is no evidence to believe otherwise. So you are basically choosing this pathway. It's a purely emotional decision. But on top of that, you have to betray everybody who is behind you to pursue this, like, non-scientific, irrational pathway. It's so stupid. I mean, it's fine that it's an option. I, I don't have a problem with it as an option, but it, it is like, I would, I never, I would never choose this one if not for the fact that I'm trying to unlock all the missions. Like, this is like, even in the ending, I was like, what are they gonna do? Like, to show us that there's a way to prevent the coral from being like a, a planetary threat? No, her answer is, trust me, bro. Trust the crazy coral, like, cyber life form in your head, bro. So I thought this ending... The levels were cool. So I'm going to separate the ending from the levels. The levels were cool. I don't know if they were as cool as... I don't think they are as cool as um, the Fires of Raven ending. 
The fires of Raven had the, um... The fires of Raven ending has... The fleet mission? The fleet mission is really cool, where you go out and just start, like, blasting all of the, the enemy Arcubus fleet. Like, that was really cool. And then you finally get to kill Rusty. I was, like, looking so... I was looking forward so much to killing Rusty. And, like, in that one, you even get to kill Rusty, which is great. So it's like... And then you have this awesome music, too. Like, R Rusty's theme is so good when you're killing him. Because you know, like, this is the end. He can't run away. He can't go on to any of his dumb shenanigans. He can't interfere with you anymore. You get to, like, cut him short right then and there. I assume there's, like, nothing special at the end. So definitely preferred the first ending. Raven. You took on my hopes. My selfish dream. Yeah, because you haven't see that? She's even admitting it. She has no proof. Now I want to see the future that you choose. Whatever waits ahead. I'll support you. I don't even want you. Like, I was perfectly fine without you. The snail fight was awesome. You're right about that. It was, because, like, I, I think, I, you know, like, I don't know how. Maybe they figured the Balteus was going to be really iconic. But bringing the Balteus back was really cool. And then what's even better is that it has all new moves. It has, like, one missile barrage, but it's, like, it's basically just some simple forward-facing missiles. It's, like, a totally different fight. It's way harder because the, um, the attacks are way stronger. Huge variety. It's, like, a b energy weapon-based, uh, version of it. And then it's also cool because, like, instead of, like, going down in an armored core, which, like, you know, once you get the hang of things, armored cores aren't too hard to destroy. So, like, putting Snail in... What do you call it? Putting Snail in the 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 energy variant of the the Balteus was like it, it was it was really cool. It also shows how important Snail is. I don't think there is a single AC pilot that gets out of their AC and then fights you in like a massive like boss machine. Because, like, the other big guy, Michigan, he just... Oh, I get more parts. Do I get the full body? So, one thing I don't like is there's too many biped legs. I don't like how many biped legs there are. There are... I mean, I'll show you in just a moment. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Might, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. I am going to try to get the third ending as well. I, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in one stream, but I'll, I'll, I'll make the progress I can. Looks like you passed the authentication. You've got plenty of experience. I've picked up some work for you. Okay, I want to see, but here, here, so here's something I don't like. Let's go to legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen biped legs. Now for the, uh, can I, can I go through sort? Okay, I can't sort them by their type. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Four of the reverse legs. Two spider legs. Three tank legs. There are way... Like, why so many biped legs? Like, they could get rid of... 66%. Like, get rid of two-thirds of the biped legs and distribute them 
distribute them across the other legs. Like, why are there so many biped legs? So there's that thruster. What's good about it? I'll look at it later. Let me see. Are there new? Are there any new items? That's the multi-energy rifle. We'll try that this time around. Let's get the rest of these parts. Okay, we've got all of the armored core components. All that's left are the weapons. I want to get this sword. That sword seems badass. I want to get... the energy rifle. So we can shoot or try them both out. Um, I want to get the triple. The triple. Also, I don't know if you... I don't know yet, Zen Master. Have you seen this? There is a cannon version of the Sonic gun. I'm going to try that as well. Let's get the cannon version of the Sonic gun. Uh, what? Let's get the Sundowner weapons. Those seem like they could be fun. I want to get all of the orbiting weapons. The turrets and stuff. And they seem like they could be fun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put on Walter's stuff. Good idea. This is like the real snail. It even looks like a snail. Okay, let's put on Walter's gear. What were his legs called? What are these called? The Howl. The Howl armor. Okay, we're looking for the Howl. Basho, Jailbreak, Melander. Uh, we're looking for the Howl. There it is. So this is what... Um, go into view mode. So that is what... Um, can I rotate? Oh, there we go. So this is what Walter's armored core design looks like. A coral-powered one. That Look at that crazy jetpack it has on the back. The head is super cool looking. Can I get closer? The, the zooming controls are not intuitive at all. Can I go... Okay, down. Down. Zoom in. I don't know. So you have to use the keyboard commands. You can't drag with your mouse. It doesn't work that way. Let me see what its stats are. We're not super quick. 280 is. like Normally I maintain about 300 for my boost speed. I will say it's pretty strong, though. I mean, our, our load isn't bad. Like, we're carrying pretty heavy stuff. What is his head good for? The head part of the HAL 826, developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute, the last of the IBIS series and the only piloted IBIS craft, it was built to be the final safety valve to prevent a coral collapse. Just like overall, just high, like no particular specialization other than just being like... 8 out of 10 across the board, basically, except for kinetic defense. That could be a little bit of an issue in the PvP because of the popularity of the Zimmerman shotguns. Um, having low kinetic defense. Still looks super cool, though. There's no doubt about that. Um, oh, hold on a second. We gotta go back. Let's see if we missed any logs. We miss logs here. Oh, no, no, that's an alt mission. Alt mission. Okay, so what I need to do is, let me see, Armored Core 6 Endings Guide. Need to make sure that I've got a, um, make sure I know what I'm doing to get it correctly. This one wants me to agree to things. 
Liberator of Rubicon. Okay, this is the final ending. So our first thing we got to do is the dam, but we got to do it the other way. Prevent this corporate salvage. So I think that's the Rubicon path. Eliminate the enforcement squad. Coral denial. Defeat all of the arenas. Okay, so we'll start with that. Looks like to get the third ending, we have to get we have to perform the alternate version of the dam complex mission. Okay, so let's try out some of the new weapons we bought, shall we? What what do you guys want to see first? You want to see the triple lasers, the sonic cannons, the sundowner missiles? What do you guys want to see? In the meantime, I am going to reconfigure a little bit. You want to see the tri-laser? Okay, that's going to be a big... I, I bet those are super heavy. How much do these weigh? Where's their weight? 1,400?! I surely I read that wrong. Surely I read that wrong. Fourteen hundred. I did not read it wrong. Okay, um. Can I get it to work? There's no way. I don't think there's any way to get the triple lasers to work. I, even the fattest of the trick chicken legs will not handle it. Damn, even this doesn't handle it. Okay, we're going to try this out. Energy shortfall. Wow. Is there a power plant in existence that can save me? The most powerful power plant in the game for energy, or, or at least of what I have. We, we, let's see if we can get something that encourages um, output. Okay, generator output. Okay, let's try... Let's see if we can find the... What are the lightest arms that will still carry these? Arms are overburdened. Too heavy. Arms are overburdened. That's a little bit better. Okay, let's see. Let me use the smallest head. No, there's just no way to do it. There's just nothing that will fit. I mean, maybe if I use maybe if I don't use these legs. Okay, what are some... What arms can I use? Okay, that's a start. Whatever, these arms work. I'm going to use them. Okay. It works. Can I use this generator? Energy shortfall? Nope. We have to, we have like the, like we have maximum weight 
and energy, or very close to it. Let's get a fire control system that... Oh, some of these even give me an energy shortfall. Wow. Medium range. Okay, it doesn't use a booster. Okay. Holy crap. This thing is... This is a humongous armored core. Let me take a screenshot of it. I'm gonna post it in the Discord. That is such a humongous thing. This thing is huge. Okay, let's give it a shot. Alright, so we are in New Game Plus 3. Yeah, I mean, you can't put a booster on the tank. The tank legs always reject the booster, though. Or rather, the tank legs have their own integrated booster, I should say. The client doesn't care who does this. This is not quite the Asmongold McTank, but, like, it's fine. Let's see how fast we are. 263. Yeah, what can you do? Oh, God, we're so slow. Just telling, uh, cruising through. Gotta go up. Oh yeah, don't worry, you guys got this. You want to see it fully charged? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do a, a partial charge. That was rude. Oh yeah, that that no, that that is the full charge. So you can go partially there. Now, I get I guess because mine my engine is better. Like the the generator we have is better at uh charging weapons faster. So it's way faster than the demonstration. Rude. I'm charging it up. Oh, this thing takes a minute to charge up. You, you can hear it. It sounds like it's powerful. I'm going to charge both of them up. Don't worry. Here comes the biggest shot. One thing we are not is agile. Not in any... Not in any description would we ever be considered agile or graceful. I don't even know what I'm doing. Flying tank. Oh. Can I assault kick it? I can. Head to the final site. Keep up the good work. Oh god. There we go.
I want to see how this works against an armored core. Like, th if this is so grossly overkill against normal enemies. I want to see how this performs against an armored core. Oh, look, I, I ran out of ammo and it dumped one of the launchers. That's cool. One thing I'll say is that this laser runs out of ammo very quickly. Aside from the plasma cannon... None of those weapons were good at destroying large quantities of enemies. Let's try it again, though. We gotta get through some of these missions anyways in order to access the, um... You've got ID. You know, the, the dam, where we can do the dam in the opposite direction. Once we unlock all the missions, then we might we can get all the logs and everything. Make sure I'm going for the uh, the yeah the 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 Latin ending. Well, we can't make any decisions yet. I think our first real decision is um, the dam. I'm about to say, you need to go down. In terms of just clearing out basic enemies, the plasma rifle is really good. Wait, wait, here we go. Boom! Fully charged. Oh, you don't want to give up, do you? Well, don't worry. I'll charge up the guns. Here we go! He's alive! They're alive! This is my jump height. We we need to see how the multi energy rifle works against something that's a bit a bit more heavily armored though to be honest. I mean, it better do just ungodly amounts of damage. It weighs 1400. 1400. That is the heaviest weapon I've seen so far. No new messages. Um, okay. The, 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 there's a, there's a quadruped here. It'll be a good, we'll test the firepower on the quadruped. And like I said, I don't think we can do anything towards the third ending until we get to the dam. I think we gotta get to the dam complex. That's where we make our first decision, so. I think we could just, like, mess around right now. Corporate 
did I miss? Oh, it didn't die. Okay. Confirmed. Transport chopper down. Keep at it, six two one. That was just a straight up miss. Plasma cannons are so nice. Confirmed. Target destroyed. On to the next targets. Here we go. I'm charging them up right now. Looks like they've got a mouse to try. It's a cut above the other MTs. I was hoping for a bit bigger effect. It's possible that I just didn't get good contact though. Maybe it's a better finishing move. Well, lasers don't have very good impact damage. That's one thing to say. And lasers aren't very good at impact. Like it might be more of a finishing move rather than like an opening attack. Whereas plasma does cause a lot of stagger. Especially against targets that can't move very quickly. Yeah, I do like the multi-energy rifle. Let me see how much it weighs, though. I mean, combining two weapons together, that's got to be a bit, a bit, a bit heavy. I see your back, six two, the corpse seat to the rubber. Okay, this is—we already know all this. How much does this weapon weigh? Damn, 10,000. I mean, yeah, that's why. I mean, it, it basically has the weight of two weapons combined together. 10,000. That is heavy. Got a job for you, 621. That would be a. I mean, I guess one thing you could do with it's it is treat it like two weapons. And maybe equip like a melee weapon or something on your other hand, like treat the uh, treat it treat it as a uh, two in one weapon. I'm not sure. Main system activating combat mode. I mean, otherwise, dude, that's the only way you're going to use this kind of a heavy weapon. Like these weapons are heavy as hell. I'm gonna get him while he's unaware. Damn! Well, rip him. May, I, I kind of want to try it against uh, a boss. I, okay, I'm going to save this build, and then when we get to, like, a boss, we'll try it against the boss. Yeah, we just wasted that guy. I wonder if in this one there's going to be multiple... Okay, so here we go. I think this is our first decision opportunity. Oh, we get to fight a lot of armored cores here. That's One good. New message. Six, two, one. Okay, we already know all about that. Okay, here we go. Attack the dam complex. Wait, escort, what is, look at this, look at this. Escort the weaponized mining ship. That's a totally new thing. It's a totally new thing. Uh, let me see who's offering the, uh, let me see the contract. Got a job. 
Dude, that's gonna change things. Okay, well, let's do the dam complex. I, I guess we're going to be supporting the... Let me make sure I know what I'm talking about here. So I need to make sure that I don't mess this up. Um, all of the endings. I, I'm, I'm going to cross-reference multiple guides to make sure I don't, like, mess this up. What is this? So we've got block, get, get out of my sight. Okay, what am I looking for? This is Fires of Raven... Eliminate the enforcements, intercept red guns, intercept... Okay. This is the Liberator of Rubicon. This one is Attack the Dam Complex. You can refuse. Okay. So we didn't actually need to do this. We didn't need to do that in order to actually get that, that decision. Prevent the salvage. Yeah, that's fine. Um, destroy the special craft. Ambush the Vespers. Eliminate Carla. So this one must be the new one. Okay. Attack the dam complex. Sure. Then you have to defeat your allies. New game plus. Yes. Escort the ship. Okay, so we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Let's do the dam complex first. All right, so the debriefing is, is, is the same, but the actions are going to be different. Dude, they are not going to... I'm going to blast them away with these big-ass guns. That This is going to be something. I'm going to, like, like blast them away. Either that or they're just going to be super evasive and hose me down. What was that site? I have no idea, to be totally honest. I just typed in Armored Core 6 ending guide and went just to just went with whatever I could. I'm like literally rolling in like a tank. I'm just like rolling in here. Shut up, Iguazu. This is just target practice. When we're done, the local's little base is next. Oh, I didn't take that out. Why didn't they destroy it? Okay, we're going to do right to accept. Your cooperation is appreciated, Raven. 621, we've received a friendly ID tag from the Liberation Front. 
<laughs> they split up. That's probably not a good idea. Powering up to the max. Oh, so he doesn't die. This thing shoots fast. Like, holy crap. Oh, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I sure hope I don't run out of ammo. That would be bad. Come down there and fight like a biped. I'm out of ammo! These were not very damage efficient. They did a lot of damage, but they weren't very damage efficient. Okay, we, we ran out of ammo. I need to switch to something that's a little more ammo efficient. Oh my god, Iguazu. Oh my god, Iguazu, why do you suck so much ass? I am literally sitting here like it's the Street Fighter, you know, beat the car up challenge. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Okay, let, let, me, let me switch to something a little more sensible. Okay, so we're going to use... You know, I... Whoa, never mind. That's a stupid idea. I'm going to use these. I was going to use the... Um, I want to use the Sundowner missiles. We've never tried those. Sundowner missiles. There we go. Okay, so what do I need to do? How much? How much do Sundowner missiles weigh? Fifty-six. We should probably be. We should be able to balance that. Okay, we don't need. Well, we do need big arms. Uh, is there a set of arms that aren't as heavy that I can use? Also, the head. Lighten the head. Boosters. Fire control system. Something that's kind of more on the mid-range. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Um, how do we... We need to dump some weight. How much do my plasma cannons weigh? No, the plasma cannons are heavier, so... Um, I guess it's my arms that are interfering. Where am I overweight? What do I have on me? Oh, it's the generator. And then the head? I am slightly too heavy.
There we go. The wrecker arms. The wrecker arms give us a little bit of a bit more um, strength to like lighten our load overall. Can I get my head back? Nope, we can't. Have, wait, wait. We can have any any other head is better than that. I want the snail head. Okay, here we go. Your cooperation is appreciated, Raven. Six two one. We've received a friendly ID tag from the Liberation Front. Let's not waste their firepower. Did you seriously attempt to? He did. He made. He kicked me in the tank. I just got kicked by the tank. Wait, that's the wrong target. guy's more concerned with fighting Michigan than... Oh yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so the whole point of this was to, uh, like, attack the wall. Does that mean that their plans to attack the wall are ruined now? And we just got... Oh, I only got one log? It was probably from Volta, because Iguazu sucks. One new message. What's they going to say? I thought you, had, you you needed to destroy the generator. How are you going to get over the wall? Let's see if we got all of the... Um... Okay, we did. We, we got all of the logs there. Okay, so we get a new mission now. Escort the weaponized mining ship. Let's give it a shot. Defend the weaponized mining ship, a key military asset of the Rubicon Liberation Front. Okay, interesting. I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm down for it. Chose the Liberation Front, did you? Whatever works to get your name out there. That's the benefit of being independent. Oh, I forgot. We're in the phase of, like, trying to, like, make a name for ourselves. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. Okay, so how do we protect this thing? I, I, I've been to it. I've been to it, though. This is cool.
Damn, I fucked it up already. Enemies on the radar. Six two one, they're coming. They like beat my ass. Like I wasn't able to save it. Really? Yourself, six, two, one. They're not going to listen to reason. I'm fighting sea weapons? Oh, it's these weird six, things. This is not what I was expecting. That time I jumped right into that. Did you get them? Wait, there's more. Round two. Wheels. Okay, wheels are down. Coming in hot. What is that? Knock them down and go in for the kill. Uh oh. There we go. Looks like the last of them. Nothing on the long range radar. These missiles performed you okay. To protect the strider, but you had a hell of an excuse. I'll look into this. You go home and get some rest, 621. Okay, so we were not able to save the strider. That means that thing was just doomed one way or the other. Either way, very interesting mission. A million! But we take 500,000 as a penalty. What a tease. Yeah, these missiles seem to have pretty good guidance. And they lock on very quickly. For the honor to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. I understand you want to join. You do realize that smashing... Know your place, you maker dog. I hear you must be rough, only... Oh. 
Are you sick? We've been through worse than this. They that sounds like a new that that's that was a new line of dialogue. Who's been equally brazen of late. That was a different line of dialogue. Like we've been through this before. Interesting. Okay, let's see. First, how did we do? Escort. Okay, so there were no um, no logs on that mission, which means we did fine. Operation Wall Climber. This request comes straight from Archivist headquarters. Wouldn't we like Would not want to climb the wall? Okay, so I don't want to use missiles against that guy. I am going to use... We'll use plasma on him. But we'll use these guns. These guns are pretty good. Plasma's too heavy? Really? I'm surprised. Is there a lighter head I can use? Still overburdened. No, nope, looks like we gotta use the flathead. God, flathead comes, even though it's stupid looking and the stats are weak, it just comes in clutch with like allowing you to finish your builds. Your Check the guide. Is to take the Liberation Front Fortress, the wall. Show them you're worth the Looks like there's nothing in between. No, there's nothing to do until chapter three, I guess. I mean, it works for me. I mean, Operation Wall Climber is a fun mission. Main system. Activating combat. I wonder if we're going to have more arena duels. What hit me? That, I, I, that was such a long shot. Keep an eye out for cover. You'll never climb a wall, Corporation Dog! Coral! Abide with Rubicon! Oh, I gotta kill the Gatling guns, that's right. And I'm out of juice! I don't really need to kill the- I don't actually need to kill the sniper cannons. I just need to get close enough that they can't hit me. Okay, charge up the plasma cannons. If you're trying to get an S rank, this is what you would do. Like, basically, to get an S rank, you just need to speed run your way through it. Oh, you wouldn't want to take as much damage as I took, but. Too much fire! 
So is like Rusty killing his own guys here? If he's part of the Ruberation Lib if, the, if, he, if he's part of the RLF, is he like technically killing his own guys here? Like Rusty's like wasting his own his own guys. Six two one. I've dispatched a supply Sherpa. Make sure you resupply. Let me see if Ru I, I, I don't I doubt he'll say anything different. Yeah, he's not gonna say anything different. That's the juggernaut. Heavy mobile cannon. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. The man won't be able to keep up with steel haze. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot. That's the stuff. Walter knows how to pick up. This is me four. Understood. Raven, I just got an update from Snail at command. We've got enemy reinforcements incoming. If I don't intercept them, we're both toast. I hate to leave you like this, but you'll have to finish without me. He's gone. So much for our decoy. Not like I needed his help to begin with. Okay, Operation Wall Climber down. One new message. What do we got? We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you something. Oh? During Operation Wall Climber, you murdered your own people. Archibus was planning to sacrifice you. The plan was to use independent mercenaries to Wait, this is the same dead. thing. Both the higher ups and the Rubiconians are going to remember that as will I. Okay, I thought that was new dialogue for a second. But it wasn't. Obstruct the mandatory inspection. This is different. I don't I don't remember this mission. This is a new mission. Prisoner rescue? New missions, boys. New missions. Here we go. This is cool. Got a job for you, 621. This request comes from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Raven, there's a mission I'd like you to take on. We have authorized a solo helicopter sortie to rescue a group of imprisoned comrades. There are three to rescue in total, including some particularly significant personnel. Raven, we hope our struggle will inspire you to aid the Liberation Front's cause. Money will. Coral, abide with Rubicon. Money inspires me. Or technology. Give me some of that, like, Coral technology. And I mean, why would you have it? You're the RLF. Looks like switching sides of Galia left an impression on the Liberation Front. We have you to thank for this job. This is cool. Like I like, you know, you play the game multiple times. I, it, this is cool. I like, I like how they're doing this new game plus system. I guess this is new game plus plus. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. Escort the Rubicon Liberation Front's transport helicopter. 
Oh, I got a. It's a, a escort mission. Okay, let me get there first. Who are we rescuing? What mission is this replacing? If this is, I know what it is. It's replacing the V4 Rusty Reconnaissance mission. Oh, it's the girl. I mean, these rifles, like, devastate basic enemies. Like, it's gonna take a little more than this. Like, they need to send a... They need... Totally different. This is cool. Am I safe to assume that... Okay, I was... Okay, good. I was not safe to assume. Good thing I checked anyways. Okay. Mm, I don't recognize that name. So far, so good. Is he dead? Is he croaked? He croaked. Damn it. Not mess up. Heading to the last site. Just a little more even. The coral wells were the Korean's lifeline. He must have refused to talk. I don't even know who Messam is. I love these laser guns. They just like spear through these idiots. They captured Father Dolmayan. G2 Nile. You're daring. I'll give you that. I've fried bigger fish than you. It's gun to Nile. Red guns to the Union Man. And the brains to Michigan's muscle. Raymond, 
Terminal armor is on. No wonder Michigan took a shot at you. Confirmed. Gun two nile is down. Well done, six two one. Are you serious? The telephone pole blocked me. I was hoping that getting up in um, Gun 2's face would make him shoot at me rather than the helicopter, and I think that worked. Confirmed. The chopper has exited the combat zone. No! Take me with you! Raven, a symbol of resolve. But mark my words, there will be nothing left but dying embers. I don't know, I think... Dolmayan might be, you know, he might be on a little bit too much coral. First on chat from Red Faster says, You don't know what you're saying, girl. Considering this is like all of her only dialogue so far. Well, we got a platinum lock, probably for um, G2 Nile. Yeah, I don't think Gun 4 and 5 are dead. Uh, I think Gun 2 is dead, but I don't think Gun 4 and 5 are dead. I think they escaped. What are they going to say? without your help. Father Dolmayan is a key figure to the movement. A great coral warrior who witnessed the fires of Ibis and a guide to us all. But now it seems like he's... No, I shouldn't. He carries a heavier burden than... You're gonna say he's a nutter? He's crazy? Oh, and uh, a personal note before you go. Thanks for saving Zayi. I owe you one. Is she cute? Is that why you're saying that? I bet she's the only hot girl. Are these the spring legs? Yeah, I tend to use either, depending on if I can get away with it. If I can get away with it, I use the mine beta legs, and if I can't get away with it, I use the spring chicken legs. These guns weigh like 7,200 though. Also, I'm in New Game Plus Plus, so let me add a plus to my stream, because I'm like special like that. There we go. Okay. There we go. We're, we're, we're even more pluses than before. Oh, we got money. What do you guys want me to buy, Chad? Is there like... Oh, I know. Do you, you guys want... What do you want me to buy? Like, is there a weapon you want to see? We have all... We have a lot of the parts. We're, we, we got most of the stuff. But if there's a thing you want to see, I will use it. I want to use... How much do these weigh? I want to try these big guns out. So I'll spend a little bit of our money. I'm going to try these giant guns out. So, our next mission is Northern Bellius, Bow's Arsenal number 2. I'm pretty sure this is where the stealth enemies ambushed us, but this is probably the opposite version of that one. You want the strongest pistol? Okay, I'll buy the strongest pistol for you strongest pistol this I'll just buy all the pistols uh, maybe that yeah. maybe that I'll buy all the pistols that's a pistol that's a pistol that's a pistol okay let's see what the strongest pistols are okay let's start with this and then we'll compare stats Pistols, 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 pistols. This is technically a pistol. I think the six, the sweet 16s are going to win it. These things are going to suck ass, aren't they? Okay, we'll try it. The sweet 16s. I have a feeling these are going to suck ass. Uh, because I've dumped so much weight, let's go to the mine beta. And I don't have to use the flathead anymore. Let's use the cool head. I don't even know what the stats are, but I'm going to use it. Uh, let's go to this. And I don't need the monkey arms anymore. We'll use the cool arms. And I might not need that generator anymore. 
we are going to shift, um, because this is going to be very close range, let's change our fire control system to something very, very aggressive. That's fine with me. This is going to suck ass, isn't it? Use the pistols, he says. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, here we go. A new mission. Obstruct the mandatory inspection. I'm still going to use the plasma cannons, though. Oh, the arms. Good, good point. The arms. Um, what are these? Firearm spec. How, do, how does it compare to the Melanders? Who has the best firearm specialization? Does anything beat the Melander C3 for shooting? Oh my god, look at these. Maximum shooting specialization. Yes, please. Okay, here we go. New mission time. Hate LCs. Baus, however, intends to disrupt the inspection with a raid by independent mercenaries. Am I going to help them? I need Are you to in it? Wait inside the arsenal and ambush the Vanguard squad. Who am I ambushing? The PCA? I'll their rear guard squad outside, then rendezvous with you. That concludes the briefing. Looking forward to working together. Who am I? Am I ambushing the PCA or the Bows or the independent Mercs? I guess we'll find out. What stranger? A mandatory inspection or a job from another mercenary? Whatever happens, handle it. Just like you always do. We need to unlock all the missions so we can collect all the logs. Yeah, who is this Kate person? I don't I don't even recognize the name. She's not registered on the main system. I don't think she's registered on um, the arenas for all mind. Commence mission. Eliminate the PCA's mandatory inspection squads. Are you gonna let me out? I'm grateful for your support, Raven. We'll rendezvous later on. Code one five. Unknown at sea. Where did it come from? Eliminated. Subject guard sentry MTs. Watch out for their laser fire. God, this thing has a super long reloading time. That was surprising. I don't think those were real LCs, though. I think those were the fake boy LCs. They died way too easily. You can't dodge everything. Looks like you're clear here. Some people like the 16 over the Zimmerman. Hmm. I mean, they're they're not. They wait. That's not the right gun. What gun do I have?
I thought I had 260. I have different weapons on. I thought I had a pat a matching pair of 16s. You can't shoot straight down. I dare you to shoot straight down. About to say, I'm gonna wish you didn't do that. It looks like we beat Kate. Raven, I finished mopping up, but I have something to report. What's up? Has made an unexpected move. They have more people. Let's rendezvous for now. You heard the lady. Updating marker data. Don't worry, the laughing one can handle it. My armored core always has the last laugh because I have infinite continues. Is it Sula? Who is it? This must be Kate. Where did you get this tech, Kate? I recognize this AC model. That's Mind Alpha. You want to fight me? No? Okay. What are we fighting? Is that a cataphract? Lost the inspection team. Merck's made a big mistake. System authorization repeat. Commencing termination. Doing a good job. I'm surprised he has the thrust to keep evading like that. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, guys, running me over. Wait, maybe this isn't so bad. Ow. I, I don't want to... Having an ally makes this harder because it keeps turning away from me. Yeah, what is that big gun? Okay, never mind. No. You're making it harder. There we go. It is the Beyblade! Should have just stayed out of my way. Why would they put like an arm? Like, they just put like this man shaped guy at the core of the cataphract?
I like all these new missions. See, Walter. Looking good for a change. I see you got a new augmented human. Oh. What happened to 617? This West? sounds like new dialogue. Their jobs. They did what it took to get us here. Huh. Relatively stable, it seems, but we've run into someone shady. Someone you want me to look into. Yeah. Independent mercenary. Goes by Kate. I'll skip through the dialogue if it seems similar, and then I'll slow down if it's new. No, I, I don't think we're at the end of chapter one yet. Two new messages. Or are we? Did we just beat chapter one? Raven, thanks for the help with the mission. We'll meet again. Got a job for you, 621. This request doesn't come from the corpse or the Liberation Front. You'll see when you check the briefing. Have I seen the Albacore and the Basho head? I probably have them. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, the Basho head is the is the one with the visor. I wish they were in alphabetical order. Yeah, and there's the Alba Bonnie. Yeah, yeah, I have those ones. I mean, I, I basically collect everything I can. Honestly, these guns weren't bad. I mean, they, they weren't terrible. I, I was I was happy with their performance to be totally honest um I want to use wait what chapter are we in no we're still in chapter one okay no this is the watch point okay so what was I gonna do I oh let me check our missions let's see if we missed any logs. Okay, we didn't get all the logs here. On Rescue the Prisoner? Who could I have missed? Obstruct, so there were no logs on this one. Okay, let's redesign our... Um, well, if I guess we're going to fight... What's his name again? We're going to fight the, the... You know, the Missile Man. Whatever his name. You know his name. Missile Man. Did I ruin? Did I ruin the the play? Did I did I do something wrong? Did I ruin the playthrough? I mean, I'm I'm just going over here. Is the debriefing different? This is a rather personal request from a friend of mine. It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once it regulated the underground flow of coral. Now it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. I think this is the same debriefing. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planetside PCA force, which means it's too hot for the corporations to be seen there. In other words, we're flying strictly solo on this one. I wonder if Walter jumped the gun with this mission. You'll be going in under cover of darkness. Okay. I don't think there's anything different there. Okay, so I think this is just going to be business as usual. We'll see, though. Maybe they'll pull a fast one on me. Oh, he still got a shot off. He would get a shot off. Did you live? I can't get through the HQ. Cavalry isn't coming. Wipe them out, 621. Destroyed. 
Yeah, I want to know what happens with the PCA myself. That's a good point. Okay, I thought I messed up something. Well, I mean, the PCA have a lot of stuff. They, they've got a lot of stuff. What happened to the patrol squad? Code 1-8. All units deploy for combat. You're exposed to snipers from all quarters. Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. Someone shot me over here. Updating your marker data. Proceed in the direction indicated. You see that? That's the Watchpoint's control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. Sula, I presume. Yep. So sorry, Sula, but the laughing one has the final laugh. Who is that? This is different! There's stealth next. Right now we know who's who the stealth mechs belong to. Damn, I was hoping to use cover there. What do we got? Should have stayed in the shadows. Forget about them, six two one. Back to work. Penetrate the control center and destroy the target. Oh, that's Sula. Wipe my feet on his ass. Yeah, I tend to use a lot of energy weapons, so, like, I use some pretty high energy uh, generators. It's also why my I can boost for a good amount of time. Going down. Okay, so I'm guessing we fight Balteus again. Should I have skipped that? I wonder if I should have not skipped that.
Sakura nearly killed you. Please, you have to focus on winning this. The waves are intensifying. Raven, get clear. Two repair kits remaining. I got the sexy walk. I don't know if I should have skipped that. I don't know if there was any new dialogue there. I should probably go a little slower. Raven. The fight seemed the same, though. You need rest. But first, a warning. Coral surge you were swept up in? That was just a glimpse. A premonition of the storm of flame that will burn Rubicon. Okay. Nothing new there. I'm going to assume that there was nothing different about that cutscene that I skipped. Because all of that played out the same. A friend of mine sent me this observational data. Look, 621. The localized coral explosion caused by the surge has a certain direction. The coral has turned into cubes! It's evolving! This all seems the same. Company, which means somewhere in the ice field, there's a huge mass of coral lying dormant. Well, chapter three is the longest of the chapters, so. You said you could hear a strange voice in your head. Yeah, I'm crazy. That's a common side effect of old gen augmentation. Being crazy. You were always crazy, it's okay. The coral explosion completely vaporized northwestern Valius's Bay Area. And even oh yeah, we're not in chapter three yet. Yeah, chapter two is pretty short. That's yeah, chapter two is really short actually. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna skip this. If I miss something, you know, you guys can call me dumb, but I'm pretty sure that was the same. Who's it from? Six two one. I've got some business to attend. I need to hawk some intel to the corpse and secure a bet. One job for you while I'm at rest up. That's an order. Okay, nothing new. We're good. Raven, I see your handlers away on business. About that trip to the. Let's take a look. Okay, nothing new. Okay. This is the same old, same old. Okay, let me equip for the um, the street sweeper. Ye old street sweeper. I will probably zim zam it. The weapon list is so huge now. Overburden. I have to get the the like the tiny head, won't I? Snuck it in. <laughs> I don't even like this head, and yet it's always saving my life. Let me get a hybrid one. You know, I like this because we, we do have mid-range weapons as well. We'll give it ye old street cleaning. That's exactly how it is, isn't it? It's like Walter is our dead, and like... 
Ire is our mom. I'm pretty sure we already. I'm pretty sure this is the same mission. I don't think there's anything different about this. This mission is pretty fun. I like this one. Like when I farm uh, credits, uh, this is one of the missions I'll do. Because if you kill all the bonus enemies, you can get quite a bit of cash. Main system activating combat mode. I sent you the marker data. Let's head toward the elevator going to the upper level. I can't believe he evaded it. No. Oh. I wish I didn't have to kill Rummy. Rummy's my buddy. I won't even dodge, Rummy. I'm, I'll give you a chance. I won't even dodge. Go for it, Rummy. No, never mind. Oh, it was those ones. R.A.D. loves a good welcome party. Come on in, and let's get acquainted. He had no plot armor. Let's take a look at the elevator. Charging it up! Bullies! Bunch of bullies! I missed! Those guys are worth a good bit. 12,000 each. It's pretty good. The Zimzams were not meant to destroy these weaklings. They don't have the firing speed for these weaklings. I like how when uh, Rummy dies, he's more concerned about his armored core. Stand aside. Oh, the missile curved around. Oh, let me in. That's one thing. The one thing that these legs suck at is like really, really fine details like that. They just like launch around. I'm charging them up.
He's worth like 30,000. Oh god, gotta jump in. There we go. I know there's more. He did. He loved this robot. And there's actually quite a few Armored Core pilots that, like, their last words are, the, are about their Armored Core. I'm powering it up. Oh, I thought I'd avoid it. Here we go. I'm powering it up. No. I'm going to run away. Here we go. I'm powering it up. Clipped me with it. You're not dead? Okay, about to say. All right, good. That's enough. Major point. Nice surrender. Just not worth the long term. Come on, I'll let you through. Up along now. Left hand ammunition at 30%. You lived. No longer. Let's see how much money I get out of this one. Like I said, this is a pretty fun mission to do. Like, yeah, there are faster missions, but I find the really fast but short missions, they, they'll, like, burn you out of the game. So I like these kind of exploration missions. I find them to be a bit more fun to play. Where did it go? Why did they decharge? Why did I lose my charge? I charged them up. Clean up on aisle three. The smart cleaner is going to need to be smart cleaned. Enough, tourist. It's been miserable knowing you, but I guess playing nice is a smart choice here. You want to go up top, right? Let me show you the way. Guided tour from Cinder Carla herself. I'm going inside like it's Mario. Like <laughs> okay, almost five hundred thousand. I spent a bit, I spent a good bit of ammo, but I like shooting things. What is the next mission? Oh yeah, it's repel the jerk butts. One new message. Hey, 
tourist. It's me, Carla. I had to work some of my magic to track you down. This sounds different. I got a little job for you. That that sounds a little different. I mean, because she we acted like we were familiar. It's highly unusual to receive messages from hostile sources. Did she hack into online's mercenary? Yes, this is different. This is different. It's different. Stop the data breach. Okay, hack all, destroy all hacking drones installed in grid 086. Mission failure if a hack is allowed. It's different. It's different. I'm into it. Um, I don't know what I'm fighting, so I will use zip zappers. Well, I'll use the light zip zappers this time because I don't want to, I don't want to change my build too much. Can I use a normal head, please? Like a head that looks cool? No! We're still a little too big. Wait, I can use this. This head looks cool. Uh, what was I gonna do? I don't need to change anything, right? Let's also change our fire control system. Because I'm gonna be fighting a little more at mid-range now. Uh, this is... That's fine. No! It's... I don't have the power... For, I don't think I don't think there's a better choice than that. That's pretty good actually. We're fighting a little more at mid range. I don't know what to expect here. This is like totally new. So this was this was available earlier. Ah, my favorite little tourist. About my promise to take you up top. I need a little help cleaning up first. See. Certain someone smashed up all my defense hardware. And now I've got rival dozers muscling in. How is this my fault? It's the Junker Coyotes. We never did get on. Always sniffing around, just waiting for a chance to bite. Making a mess is one thing, but they're going after our development data too. Ooh, not the secrets. We need to swat the hacking drones they sent before they make off with all my secrets. You wouldn't want that. Maybe they'll find out your age yeah, and your weight. It's pretty low of them. But at least give them credit for knowing where the value is. And the feet picks, too. Anyway, did I mention that this is all your fault? No, this is not my fault. For it by keeping my secrets safe. There's no way this is my fault. So this must replace the original version of the Coyotes mission. Let's see what we got. This is cool. There's so many new missions. I'll have to check to see how many logs I've missed too, and I'll have to like backtrack on it, I guess. Main system activating combat mode. All right, here we go. Uh oh, they're already hacking. Who else is shooting? Okay, we're looking for drones. I don't know what they look like yet. Do I need to, like, just explore? Okay, I think I need to explore. Straight out of the gates. Keep it up, tourist. Let's keep looking around here then real fast. So I okay, I get it. So I need to I just wish they had a little more flair. I need to find them all before time runs out, basically. All of these things are delaying me. The coyotes are you. Target destroyed. Two remaining. better get to work on our countermeasures. Go. 
good? What is this? Hmm, we got a text data. Professor Nagai's log, number three. Text data extracted from a rack. The lost auto transcription for a voice log recorded by Professor Nagai, the Rubicon Research Institute director. I have decided that research is, that assistant number one's son is to remain at the lab. He's a reticent one, tough too, beyond his years, and now our research has robbed him of his mother and driven his father mad. He has every right to hate me. Perhaps assistant number two will be able to help. I like how they don't even have names. They're like so dehumanized. She does not, what, what do you want, Kent? Hush, I'm playing games right now. No time for Kent's. She does seem to have a knack for assembling toys. I hope that at least she can give him something to smile about. Okay, we destroyed two of them. Let's go this way. I'm guessing that above us? So we just need to explore. We're kind of like backtracking. I don't know if I want to go this way yet. Let me keep going downwards. Oh, this is as far as it goes. Wait, I see something glowing. So there's the way up above. I haven't explored there. It could be there. Let's check down here real fast. They've got our crypto keys. That's uh, not great. Faster, Raven. I think I'm going in a circle. Okay, I believe the last one is probably in that upper area that I aborted. It would stand to reason, at least. Process of elimination and whatnot. The question is if I can remember how to get to it. More enemies is a good sign. That's fine. All hacking drones destroyed. Good job, tourist. The laughing the one sniffs them out. A little counter virus. Their servers are officially fried. Maybe that'll teach them to behave. Wait, the radar. Are there more of them? More fighting. I like fighting. Even though I'm not really equipped for maximum levels of combat right now. This is more of a skirmishing build. Oh, an AC. Huh. You're the freelancer from the I'll get out of here, Gun 5. Just make some extra scratch. Guess I can settle the score at the same time. Ugh, oh, gun five Iguazu. The coyotes got some help too. Don't forget to smile, tourist. You know, I really Just land. That's one repair kit. Oh, 
Oh, I got what are oh these these guys. Hold up now. All right, Iguana, it's your turn. He's after me. Wait a second. Is Iguana my Jared? Iguana is my Jared Mesa? No more enemies detected. I've seen that kind of stealth before. I'm gonna have to look into this. Raven, there's unidentified machines who are using encrypted communications. Uh, I'll do what I can to decrypt them. No, no, you look kind of dead to me there. Why don't I just kill him? Why don't I just finish him off? I could just finish it right there. I could clip his wings. Got a silver log? That sounds new. Keep heading for the ice field. Oh. Okay. Raven, I've managed to decode those encrypted comms. They identified you as an impediment to the release project. The release project? But what is the release project? I are trying to do something useful for a change. Ocean Crossing. Okay, this is the... What do you call it? Um, the spider. What do I want to do to fight the spider? The full plasma build? I'll try the full plasma build. Why not? Maximum plasma. Coming at you, the plasma hopper. I'm pretty sure this is all the same. This is the same mission. It's like, I don't think there's anything different about it. I'm going to skip the briefing there. Let's see how many times I get zapped with lasers on the approach. Yeah, Chapter 2 is really short. Zen Master asks, does he have his voice in his head? I think he might just be crazy. He, I think he has a head concussion. Promised. But after this, you owe me one. 
No, I don't. I saved your, like, feet pics from the coyotes. I don't know you anything. Are we there yet? See you later, lasers! Oh, good. Landmine or air air mines? That's what I like to see. Let's get the cargo launcher ready. There, access the container. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. I can't believe I didn't stagger him. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt our town. Now what's it doing here? Close, what's in the generator? This is not a ordinary machine. I gotta say, sometimes- oh, it's going into air mode, that's what it is. All weapons full power! Take that, you weird ass spider pine cone bastard. They were using coal for fuel. Okay, so much for chapter two. How about we get back on track? Hop in the container. I'll operate the launcher from here. No repair kits remaining. Now we're moving into chapter three. This is definitely the longest of the chapters. Brace yourself. What is it, cat? Cats are not allowed to play armored core. Okay, so according to the guide that we're following for the third ending, we do have decisions to make. So when we get a decision, I'm going to slow down and look at my guide. Worth one new message. Looks like you've made it to the central ice. Okay. Good. 
Good. Archibus found their own way in. And Good. Ed, it looks like Balaam's coming. Yep. know what's going to happen, but you can make... Okay, nothing, nothing new there. Raven, I've been looking into the integration program, and I Oh, this sounds different. Interesting. It looks like online's been gathering data on new craft no one even knows about yet. This sounds interesting. I've installed a back door. How about taking a peek, Raven? New craft has been added to the analysis in the arena. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, it's Steel Haze Ortis. What? What? I don't even know what Greek letter that is. Well, I mean, if I'm going to fight the Ortis, I, I want to see how he handles the full missile build. I'm going to do the full missile build on him. A whole bunch of different missiles. The Sundowner missiles, and how about double missiles? A little bit of everything. All kinds of different missiles. Alright, so we got something new in the arena. I like to see that. Okay, so here it is. Subject classified 51-101R. Armored Core Steel Haze Ortus. Uh, AC data encrypt added to the integration program, encrypted and accompanied by a note. Elcano has stolen Archibus technology and used it to develop a new model. The fact that this craft has entered the hands of the Rubicon Liberation Front is acceptable. However, the time is not yet right. We must wait for Archibus to put the primary factor for the project in place. Extremely cryptic. Very cryptic. Ew, it's a secret. Steel haze or tooth. It clearly isn't a mass produced AC. Why don't we see how it performs? I mean, like, we've beaten its ash before, so I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm more interested in seeing how it handles a bunch of missiles. We'll start clowning on them. I don't know, Elcano, you might want to get a refund on that gear. The problem is you're just not fast enough. You're, you're not fast enough for the laughing one. So sorry. That's what I'll do to you, Rusty, if you face me. There's some mobility. What did we get? The Needle Missile Launcher. The LPW-01 Trueno. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Okay, we got a little bit of swag. I don't know. Let's see what that missile launcher is. It's like numbers like one and like three that, that they only have like one, you know, like multiply like three and one. That's what the prime factor is. 
Like, I went to school once. I'm smart. Okay, let's see what these are. I want to see what that missile launcher we got is. So this is the needle missile launcher developed by Elcano. Fires stake-shaped projectiles at high velocity that bore through the targets on armor. These are non-explosive missiles that rely on raw physical. That's kind of cool. Raw physical power. Let's see. Uh, let's get a demo. I mean, it seems more like a cannon than a... It seems more like a more can shares more in common with a cannon than a missile launcher, at least in my opinion. Interesting though. We'll, we'll try. We'll try it a little, a little bit. Is there anything else in the arena? No. Steal the survey data. Okay. Well, let's re. -equip. What am I in the mood for? Um, I don't know. I got to fight the police in this one, so let's do. Kind of in the mood for laser shotguns. Laser shotguns. And then I will need to probably carry a lighter weapon. I don't think the Zim Zams will fit. Let me see if the Zim Zams will fit. No. Okay, so we'll go to these. It's we are so ever we are ever so slightly too heavy. Just a little too. Let, let's change our FCS to something a bit more close range focused as well. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to have to switch the head. Do I seriously have to use the flat head? Yes, I do, don't I? Wait, wait. No, that's the flat head. Yeah, we got to use the flat. Oh, well, whatever. We'll use the flat head. Nothing but laser shotguns. Got a job for you, 621. I'm guessing this is the same mission. It's a request from one of the Balaam companies. Attention, Gun 13 Raven. This job comes from our subsidiary, Dafa. So they don't mind employing me, even though I the betrayed them. The fields, yeah, this is the same mission. Okay, we'll just get in there and get it done. 621, are you still hearing things? Yes. I'm crazy! What is it, cat? I think my cat is annoyed that I'm playing so much video games. It keeps bothering me. Grabbing the data. So do we have more choices, asked Zen Master? We should have choices. Not immediately, though. Not immediately. This guy has no idea. You guys need to stop trying to snipe me. It, it, it's getting on my nerves a little bit. Data collected. We already know what all that is. Moving on. I don't know if I'm to make it. Okay, I'm up. A tetrapod. Charging it up to the max. Be gone! That's three. 
Yay, more data, more data, more data. Don't underestimate these, like, smaller shotguns. They actually hit pretty hard. You do got to get a little closer with them, though. They're not like the Zim Zams where they got a bit more reach to them. Love it, love it. On this vast sheet of ice. You and the AC. What are you doing here? Looks like I don't know. Why don't you mind your own business? How about that? Charging it up to the max. Damn, he sank a lot of ACS right there. Be gone! Okay, we took care of them. Refuel, or resupply rather. And this should be the very end right over here. I'm hiding. Did he live? He escaped it. Good for him. He escaped it. I hate LCs. One. Yes, come closer. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. I'm on your ship, breaking your shit. Smash the bridge, six two one. Enemy, enemy propulsion systems compromised. It's going to blow. Get clear, six two one. Left hand ammunition at fifty percent. The laser shotgun. I don't know, I like the laser shotguns. I think they're pretty cool. Okay, we already know this part. Hey, Raven. It's me, Rusty. Your old buddy from the Vespers. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. 
I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. The PCA has deployed its suppression fleet. Did he give us the debriefing last time? I can't remember. And now it's laying down the law all over Rubicon. We've already lost several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as an opportunity. Mm, I don't remember this part. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. At this rate, the corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archibald's group. We could use the wall climbers' help. Okay. So, we are in Chapter 3. There are some decisions to make here. I don't know when we make our decisions, but I know we can. One new message. I see you got a call from V4. I've been contacted as well by the Balaam group. Seems both sides have been forced to halt the coral. Check the briefings. Okay, I'm gonna consult. Well, well, let's look at the missions first. Raven, I've also. It's not just the corporations who have their eye on you. The Rubiconians do too. Following the PCA's attack, the Rubicon Liberation Front has established a division in the Central Ice Field. This job comes from their commander. That uh, that's different. I don't remember this. I think that's a new mission. No, no, okay, hold on, I need to consult my... What do we need to do next to get the ending? Chapter 3, prevent corporate salvage of new tech. Okay, so I, ha I feel like I have done that one before. Let's hit the refueling base. Hey, buddy. Okay, we know this one is the same, so we'll just we just got to get through this mission. I might speed run through some of these so we can kind of go. Like, I, I'm having fun trashing things just because, like, it, it's just such a fun game. But, you know, I might speed run through some things a bit in order to, like, get through the stuff faster. Wait, I just said I was going to b bypass a lot of these guys. There will be bonuses for destroying the fuel storage tanks in our way. We should do our best to take them out. Flying low. Code 5, unaffiliated AC. Moving to terminate. Oh, that's a... This guy's taking some damage. Holy crap. You see that, 621? That domes your refinery plant. I've updated your marker data. Head for the target. Code 5, unknown AC. Must be after the plant. Contain the situation. Terminate. Looks like an independent mercenary assembly. Really? Oh, I need my energy back first. Let me up. Any corporate data you can find. The system. Wait. Code one five. If that AC terminated. Confirmed. Fuel storage tank destroyed. There should be more. Let's earn some extra credits while we can. Code one five. I've got pretty good engine thrust, so like I can go pretty far. Get all of my stuff back. I probably should clear these out though. Go 
Okay, we'll clear those guys out because we do have to fight the boss here. Sneeze. Ah. Go three, attending scene. Last point before checked out. Or maybe not. Okay. I thought I was gonna. I've identified PCA SP Special Forces. We can't afford to take chances. Six two. Where's the melee one? We gotta get him first. That is not the melee one, so I am shooting at the wrong one. But I've already begun attacking him, so I might try to just knock him out. Works for me. Fancy moves, fancy moves. A blazing light show. I don't know. I think the laser shotguns are a lot of fun. Both PCA SP craft destroyed. I'm sure our paymasters planned for that too. They got their walking advertisement all right. I don't have high hopes for extra pay. I think we've done enough to inspire other mercenaries to work for Archibus. We we don't need the extra pay. We're fine. We got plenty of money. What we don't have is the third ending. Okay, that, that's all the same. No new dialogue. Let's just get these obvious ones out of here. This is a pretty short mission. Let's just bang it out. Since we, it seems like we're supposed to be supporting the Liberation, I'll probably knock out Swinburne. Rather than um, defect. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance MTs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up a capture camera tracking you, take cover and quickly destroy it. Camera's tracking you. Camera looking this way. Camera's tracking you. Okay. We just need to get our checkpoint so that if we get discovered, we don't have to worry about it. Okay, now we can't be discovered. Let's go. I see, Bela. Tired old concern falling further and. What do you think you're playing at? Wait, you're not one of mine. No ambusher. 
Oh, I thought that was going to end him right there. Or I thought he was going to call for help, rather. Well, so much for Swinburne. Okay, so now we have to pick the right mission. I think we need to do the destroy the PCA gear. Let me double check the guide. One new message. Raven, you have our gratitude for eliminating Swinburne. Some of us were worried that the enemy might have won you over, but it seems we can trust you after all. Good, good. Okay, let's consult our guide. So we need to do prevent corporate salvage of new tech. Okay, prevent corporate salvage of new tech. This is Middle Flatwell, Liberation Front Central Icefield Command. We and the Bellius Command are ramping up against the corporations on two fronts. At present, our primary concern is the seizure of PCA hardware by the corporations. The Outsiders have the expertise and the resources to reverse-engineer PCA technology. They're hungry, too. Hungry enough to consume the PCA whole. This leads me to my request. The PCA have stationed LCs and a new model, the HC, at the Yalmar Mine. I want you to obliterate them in order to mitigate the potential for corporate gains. Raven, I await your favorable response. The chart doesn't look good. What chart? I hate fighting HCs and LCs. It's rare to get a direct request for liberation from leadership. Yeah, this is an alternate. This is the liberation path story. I have done this one before, but it. It is I have to fight the LCs and the HC. They're in, those are really annoying enemies. I'm hoping that the shotguns will allow me to blitz them down, though. I don't know what that is. All right, here we go. Go one five. Enemy attack. It's not a red gun or a vesper. We've got an independent. Go seven eight. Requesting backup. Enemy threat level unknown. Oh, he stunned me. He saved them with the stun. Ugh. Toasted them. Oh, 
Oh, wait. No, this is another LC. Toasted him? Damn it, he knocked... I got distracted by that guy. Okay, he's toast. No. All targets destroyed. Mission accomplished, Raven. You live up to your name, Raven. You fight like a bird in flight. You may yet fly higher. Beyond Rubicon's scorched skies. To chase the freedom we never knew. Damn, tried to get a few extra guys. Kind of an ironic thing since I use the reverse leg so much. How's it going, Walter? Hard to say. 621's still performing well, but at any rate. Whatever the voices are, doesn't seem to be... I was asking about you, Walter. Bigger things. The Coral. Turns out, our friend's fears were warranted. Don't spend too long dealing with the PCA, Walter. Okay, that one is, uh, you know, like, uh, we've heard that one as well. We're making good progress in Chapter 3 as well. No new messages. I'm thinking about what Middle Flatwell said, to fly beyond Rubicon's scorched skies and chase the freedom you never knew. I think this is the, the same too. are so used to fighting and shouting slogans that they've given up thinking. But Flatwell, he's exploring the potential for something new. Okay, what's next? Another decision. So we've got survey the uninhabited uh, coral uh, floating city, the heavy missile launch. Okay, I need long range weapons now. So I will switch back to these. And, um, you know what? I might even use missile launchers. Because, like, some of those guys are really obnoxious. There we go. That fits. Floating city time. This is a normal everyday mission, so let's just get through it. What do you want, cats? Activating combat mode. Raven, the ECM won't interfere with our contact. But it is affecting your lock on range. Keep an eye on your surroundings. Unknown intruder detected. Normalization process. Those seem to be city defense automatons. They must have stood watch. I've located an ECM fog control device. See if you can access it. This must be a beacon left by the... Confirmed. The control device is offline. Let's keep looking, Raven. Okay. 
Give me the data. Sounds like my missiles got that one. AP at fifty percent. These guys are so annoying. I like it when they just get hit with the missiles. That's nice. Is that the survey drone that you mentioned? You might be able to extract its data. Okay, we're almost done here. Them. Now we know what happened to the drone. Fortunately, the data we found helped to identify where the last ECM device is. I've set a marker for it. Let's check it out. Okay, now we just gotta lock this level up. Right That's the last of the control devices. We'll have Walter back after this. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Apologies for the intrusion. This thing. Been followed. Contact is Wait, this is from All Mind. <sighs> Before it was Walter, it is different. Forced in ash, we stand as one. I'm fighting. Why am I fighting Thumb Dull Lion? Your grave, to Rubicon. Call sign Raven. Augmented human C46. What is happening? It's different. Okay, let me go into the open. My armored core is more effective in the open. Come on up! I don't know what's I don't know. The father father might be brain fucked, but he also might maybe he knows the truth.
I gotta stagger my shots a lot more. His AC is quite evasive. Like, I didn't equip this for fighting a... I did not bring these missiles to fight an armored core. I brought these to fight the helicopter. Like, these missiles are too ineffective against them. Okay, I gotta switch to direct fire weapons. Like, my missiles can't hit him because he's too evasive. We need to use, like, weapons that will actually land their hits, unfortunately. Okay, so all we gotta do is change our hand weapons out. And then this will change the battle pretty significantly. Now we shouldn't have a problem. Raven, that's the last of the control devices. We'll have Walter back after this. ECM some systems offline. Switching to encrypted circuit. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Apologies for the intrusion. You have been followed. Contact is imminent. <sighs> Hostile incoming. AC. Forced in ash, we stand as one. This place will be your grave. Minus to put it on. Call sign Raven. Augmented human C4621. Please destroy the hostile AC. Let's just let him get in here. I can't I can't have him break a contact with me. Completely different result. So that was interesting. Ooh, that was a platinum log. We just leveled our hunter level up. We got mind beta. Interesting. Obtained all frame parts. Nice. We got all of the armored core parts now. How awesome is that? No new messages. Now we just need all the weapons. Maven. There's something you need to know about Thumbna Lion. I managed to retrieve some data from the wreckage of his AC. It's something about... Coral Release. Okay, hold on a second. We just got another data log. Text data. Dolmayan's writings number four. This data extracted from a wreck. This appears to come from the writings of Thumbdolmayan, Father of the Liberation Front. 
As always, she whispers to me from inside. She tells me that she found something in the journals of Institute City, something about the potential for symbiosis, coral release. If such a thing is truly possible, then perhaps I can join her on the other side. It seems the lion really did experience contact, like you and I. Release, to free the coral and go to the other side. The potential for symbiosis. I don't know. Sounds like you guys are all crazy. Okay, the missile base. Um, I want long range weapons for the missile base. Let's get the big guns out. The fat chicken legs. We're going to need the where the wrecker arms at. The wrecker arms. And we're a little too heavy. There we go. What the hell is that? I have no idea. Like like I said, it's interesting. Every time you play the game, you Long get like see, it, it's like slightly different each time. I've got a job for you. This should just be the missile PCA's defense. Show of force has finally started to affect my own business. I'm 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 assuming this is just the normal missile defense mission. I wonder who will be the final boss this time. Hopefully the dozers won't be too dosed up on coral to make an appearance. I mean, I think it's a I think this is one of the coolest ways to do a new game plus where like each time you play like there's like changes and you know the story evolves. Like very neat. Okay, I'm equipped with long-range lasers now, so... Commencing missile launch sequence. This should be perfect for interception. Oh yeah, you haven't met. Chatty's our systems admin. Doesn't talk much, but he knows his stuff. Anyway, no time for pleasantries. We've got coyotes to deal with. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. Smart, but not for long. Here comes the second wave. Keep the fireworks safe. They're coming from the front left side. Intercept, Raven. That's what I like to see, Taurus. I almost pity the poor fools. We do have to use a heavier assembly in order to work these, but the extra range is going to pay off. Nice and clean so far. Third wave coming from the bridge. These machines look different. Toy box max. One of our spicier products. Take them out first.
Ooh, out of energy. Fortunately, I jump up. Missile launch sequence at 50%. Chatty's almost ready. Don't fail us now, tourist. They're coming from three directions at once. We got more toy box mechs. Don't let any through. Looking good? Yeah, those uh, the toy box does a lot of damage when it gets up close, so knocking them out quickly is a big deal. Jean of Arc with 100 bits. Thank you very much, good sir. We are trying to get the last ending in Armored Core, which hopefully unlocks all the missions. I recently just unlocked every single Armored Core part. But we don't have all the weapons yet. Those are some big ass missiles. Can I get one of those, please? Okay, that's another mission down. Nice and clean. Okay, so I believe we have a decision mission now, so I'm gonna consult my guide to make sure we're doing it right. One new message. This is from Chatty, right? Chatty Stick, R8, the Chief loved working with you. That's all I had to say. Okay. Nothing new there. Okay, so we do have to pick. Let me see which one we need to choose. We need to choose Eliminate the Enforcement Squad? Really? That doesn't sound correct. I want to cross-reference this real quick. Uh, who am I using right now? Let's see this. I want to cross-reference these. Eliminate the Enforcement Squad. They're saying it as well. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Eliminate that. So I would have... I, if I was doing this organically, I would have messed this up. Let me listen to... Let me listen to the debriefings. Recognize into this. The combat zone and eliminate the enforcement squads deployed by the PCA. Oh, I know this mission now. Be aware that their forces include a new type of craft, the HC. That's why we've chosen you. Balaam's counting on you, Gun 13. Happy hunting. I feel like that debriefing was slightly different. This 
I figured it would be this PCA mission. has deployed the Cataphract, a special forces weapon specialized for ground combat. If we allow the corporations to seize this kind of technology, things will take a dire turn. We want you to deny them the opportunity. Destroy the weapon first. The Cataphract is a moving fortress equipped with almost impenetrable armor. It incorporates a bipedal MT as its core, making it a highly versatile threat. That MT core is also its vulnerability. Focus your fire there, and it can be beaten. You're our best chance. What do you say? So this is what I figured we would have picked, um, but maybe we don't, maybe we're actually just trying to balance all the sides. I'm beginning to suspect that this ending is not about choosing the liberation front. I think it's just helping whoever's in last place. Give me one second though. All of this soda has got me needing to use the restroom, so just give me a minute. the most inconvenient times. I'm trying to like save the world or destroy the world. And all you cats want to do is eat. Okay, let's get my head set and we will continue. All right, so we're gonna follow what the guide says. The guide says that, um, that we choose Eliminate the enforcement squads. I'm gonna look one more time just to make sure I'm not crazy Eliminate the enforcement squads For that ending um, Eliminate the enforcement squads For this is okay. They, they're both agreeing. I cross-referenced it. So this has got to be the right one If it's not the right one well God damn it um, we, we need to use. Okay, so I gotta fight really annoying enemies in this one, so. I need to, oh, we gotta fight the HC, I forgot about that. The HC is in this one. Um, I might do a full laser build then, in that case. HC is a, not a, not a friendly opponent, not in the slightest. Now, because we dump some weight, we don't need these giant ape arms. What if we use some of the HAL parts? I mean, the HAL parts, I don't know if they would be ideal. Yeah, they're too heavy. I can't use any of these, are you serious? Okay, let me switch my arms to something a little bit lighter. 
I need, uh, where, where are the, who has the best aim? Let me see, who has the highest aim stat? These ones do. Too heavy, wow. Here's the mine beta head. We just unlocked this. The, uh, the mine beta. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the cool looking head. I don't even care what the stats are. I think it looks badass. Fire control system. Something a little more close range would be nice. Yeah, that's fine. So, what sucks about this mission is you gotta beat it in one stroke. If you die, then you gotta go all there. There's no checkpoints. Now, here's the thing. Maybe there's something different in this mission. Maybe the reason we had to choose this mission is maybe something different happens. That's also a possibility. I don't think I have to do anything special in this mission. It just said choose the mission. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Let me double check. Well, I'm triple checking. Yeah, it doesn't say anything special. We just got to do the mission. Commence mission. Eliminate all PCA forces occupying the wall. Code one spot. No way seat. An independent merc will be determined. SG, heavily armed. Be careful. Code 31A, sustaining damage. Requesting backup. Code 78. They're piggybacking on SG's Bellius Link. Not the most secure of lines. There. I've made sure they can't call home for help. The rest is up to you. Okay, so we got them. Now we got to deal with the LCs. Five, target for termination site. Engage. Already, jeez. Two repair kits remaining. This area is all clear. Keep moving, six two one. We're getting readings from inside the wall. Not as clean as I would have liked it. I wouldn't I didn't want to use a repair kit this early, but We're entering the structure. Code one five. Target has reached the facility. Where's our patrol? Call the unit. External comms have been compromised. Respond with available forces. We need time to activate the HC. HC is a pretty tough opponent, so. Code 5, solo AC. Code 2 3, attending C. Cover the warrant officer's HC. That's him right there. That AC must be our independent clerk. Moving to terminate. Damn, that did a lot. One repair kit remaining. Left shoulder, ammunition, left hand ammunition. That comms interference must have been your work too, interloper. Court this bird, you're all the same. Violate the law, and you'll pay the price. His shield is so strong. There we go. They have laser shotguns. Once I get a clean hit on them, I only put a pack a punch. So I didn't see anything unique about that mission. I did skip the bonus enemy. I do wonder if we did that, would it have, would there have been different dialogue? Considering Thumb Dolmayan is dead, unexpectedly. You again. 
I'm a busy man. Same. 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 Okay. Nothing unique there. His shield is so strong and then he disintegrated. That was a beautiful massacre at the wall. You're a survivor, no doubt. Let me give you some advice. Don't settle for being an independent. Join the red guns. Have a career. Climb the ranks. It's because he moved his shield out of the way. And eventually the curse will get you to. That's all. Don't forget what I said about putting you to work. Gun Gun Six is like Michigan hey, Junior. Ooh. 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 That's new. Okay, if we're gonna duel somebody, I'm gonna do the annoying missile build again. I always like to watch the AI struggle against the full missile build. Every missile is different. Also, fire control system. Which one has the best missile locks? This one has the best missile locks. Okay, so we've got a new target. This is classified subject 51-201W. The... Oh, this is the one that Walter was in. This is the HAL. AC data added to the integration program, encrypted and accompanied by a note. The last of the IBIS series has made itself known. We have identified a promising candidate to serve as the project's secondary factor. This machine must be destroyed to remove any further obstruction. The man has greatly delayed our efforts to put the third factor in place. Revisions must be made. Mm, very interesting. How mysterious. Raven, this data was kept secret by All Might. HAL 826. That's an IBIS series designation. Why don't we see how it performs? Okay, so this was the final boss of the Liberator of Rubicon ending. System. Activating combat mode. Wow, he's got a nice fire control system. Those were really good predictive shots that he made. What was that? What did he just shoot at me? I didn't even see that. Oh, he's... So he's firing some kind of a very slow projectile at me. That's it right there. Oh, he just walked right through all those missiles. If this is a reproduction, then the real thing must be out there somewhere. Hmm, very mysterious. Okay, so we knocked out the HAL. It has some weapons I don't recognize. We haven't unlocked those yet. The, oh, we just never, I lied, we got the Coral Rifle, the IBCO3W1 WLT011, that's a mouthful. And then we got some swag. Okay, that's interesting. Based on its looks, I figured it was a melee weapon. It kind of looks like the pile bunker. That machine, 
They clearly used coral technology. But what connection does it have to the fires of Ibis? Beats me, but let's take a look at that weapon. Um, arms. Here we go. Where is that rifle at? Here it is. This is it. The prototype coral beam weapon developed long ago by the Rubicon Insti Research Institute manipulates coral swarm intelligence using energy to adjust the shape and directionality of beam. Two-stage charge allows for fine-tuned control. Well, let's get a sample of what it does. Okay, shoots a laser. It shoots a big laser. Huh. Oh, you could charge it up further. Whoa, and then it hoses them down. Oh, um, I'll just give it a try. Well, let's see what the next mission is first. Attack the old spaceport. Ooh, I don't know if I want to experiment with a weapon against those guys. I think we need to have a reliable design to, in order to handle them. Um... The high mobility light LC, the light cavalry needs to. I need to have like something to shoot them down. I need like my flak guns to shoot down annoying aerial enemies. Okay, that's all fine. And let's get our fire control system back to something more normal. Something close range would be nice. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're going to hit the old spaceport. Hey there, buddy. Got a request from Archibus for you. I doubt the debriefing is any different. Also, we are doing a good job. We're wrapping up Chapter 3. Because then we just got to blow up the worm, and then Chapter 4 isn't terribly long, and neither is Chapter 5. But if they bump in a bunch of extra missions, that could be a different... I'm just going to focus on trying to bang these missions out, so I'm not going to kill, like, every enemy. I'm on standby near Harlov, buddy. Catch me in. I'll gauge the situation on your end before I jump in. Code 5. Target for termination confirmed. No, I want my energy back. Hey, buddy. I've taken out the relay mast. That takes care of their external comms for now. Keep moving. Okay, then we got the three warships over here. Moving to intercept. External comms are out. What's going on? Two warships left. Whoops. Now we just got to get the other warship. Target is approaching warship. Open fire! Keep the target away! Oh, there's the wrong end of the ship.
think we'll be good on ammo. I've barely used any. Unless I have to. Okay, we should get the more warships. Oh, hit me anyways. Too many times. Okay, that's all the warships. Now we have the duel. That must be the heavy. Get the heavy first because he's easier to hit. Okay. Okay, we got him. We're nice and safe up here, so I can just watch the show. It's underground. What? What? What is that thing? What is that? Another PCA weapon? This core response. There's no pilot. It's an autonomous. So what do we do after we get all the weapons and everything? Well, there's still more work to be done. We need to get all the logs. That's how we're probably how we get all the weapons. I want to get all the S ranks, and then there's also PvP. I might even start writing guides on YouTube, uh, doing walkthroughs of how to get through the game, and showing how to get the collectibles and everything. So you know, there's definitely a lot of stuff to do. Wait, we already seen this part. We don't need to see it. We, we've seen the worm like a billion times. Here's the situation, 621. I'm assuming this is the same debriefing? After the PCA sick that institute weapon on us, Archibus and 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the same. I'm going to skip that. I have not swept everything for the collectibles. And it's about coral release. Oh! The message is highly encrypted with top level security and designed not to leave a trace. Ooh! In other words, all mind doesn't want Walter to know about this. Mm. Let's take a look and decide what to do. Two new messages. Heard the news, tourist. Ice worm, huh? Well, I got something. This is all the same. Sorry to impose on you, Raven, but I've just sent What's you this? an urgent request. I wish we could deal with this on our own, but we've got no choice but to count on you. Take a look and see what you think. Okay, so we need to make sure we make the right choice. My plan is I want to unlock all the missions before I try to gather up all the collectibles. I just want to be able to access them all so I can replay them. Um, oh, mm. this is a new mission, the Coral Denial. Let's consult the guides. Coral Denial, we definitely want to do this. Coral Denial, definitely want to do that. Okay, so let's let's take care of some of these easy ones first. Get through the easy ones, then we'll get to the good stuff. This, this one's pretty short, especially if I just skip through everything, which is exactly what I intend to do. I have, fe I have a feeling that the S ranks are going to keep me busy for a while. I've gotten some S ranks, but um All right, tourist. I'll tell you where to go. Welcome, tourist. It's a delight to enjoy the company of a visitor from so far away. Brute. We're here to take back what you stole from us. Oh, heavens. You're a friend of Carla's. Splendid. Any friend of Carla's? Make sure you keep clear of the laser sensors. They're set to activate the enemy machines. Pretty sure we could just go past all these guys. Just for me. What joy. Be still my beating heart. I'm waiting for you, friend. Fidgeting anxiously before the big dance. I do hope I'll keep up, but... The anticipation is part of the fun. Yeah, we can just skip the quad, the tetrapod. The enemy is deploying a shield. We need to get behind it. I hate to see my babies get scrapped like this, you know. Well, don't be shy. Smash them up. I love it with my art. There's your way in. Brute can't be far. We should keep an eye out for traps. They'll be much more dangerous in tight quarters. Jump down there and we've got him cornered. Don't forget, the guy's a rat. You actually sink faster by cutting your thrusters. Was this place some kind of hangar? The target AC must be nearby. Okay, now we can just take out Honest Brute. Oh, we're really slugging it out. He's putting up more of a fight than he normally does. I 
That's fine, though. And we just hop our way out of here. We'll need it to go worm hunting. Okay, nice and easy. Barely any money, but pfft, who cares? Trying to get a new ending. One new message. What do we got? Okay, that was nothing new. Next mission. Uh, defend the dam. Ooh, this is a tough one, actually. This one is rough. This is not an easy mission. We've received a request from the Rubicon Liberation Front. I'll let this one play out because I know there's people who haven't seen it. Raven, we have a mission we'd like you to take on. The objective is to defend the Gallia Dam complex in the Bellius region. Archibus has been stepping up pressure on the Rubiconians while fighting the PCA. They must be laying the groundwork to take effective control over the entire planet. They've dispatched two high-ranking independent mercenaries to raid the dam. You'll need to be ready to take on both ACs at once. Master Crown and Umbarox. As you know, we have few cards to play. I hope we can count on you. The graph isn't looking good. You mean the pie chart? I mean the PCA are like in the play right now. This one's a, this is actually not this is actually a tough mission. I'm going to have to be, like, hopping to it in order to beat this one. I'm going to do it differently. Last time I took out King first. I'm going to take out Chartreuse first. Let's get started, Raven. Astro Crown's pilot, Callsign King, has an 89.6% mission success rate. His reputation for finesse is such that he's advertised as the ideal mercenary. Umbrox is piloted by Chartreuse, an aggressive bulldozer with unrivaled firepower. Those who've seen her at work call her an unstoppable force. Intercept the two targets. Here we go. Man, I wasted them really fast that time. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. I had to fight him three on one.
All right, here's number three. Be gone. Raven, we can still... <sighs> the laughing right. one has the last laugh. We'll this one. See where they go on a raven's wings. All enemy ACs destroyed. Mission accomplished. Unfortunately, Raven's Nightfall armored core can't keep up with the hop. who attacked you. It appears they don't have a fixed membership. Instead, they maintain independence and anonymity with a revolving door of select mercenaries. Now, it seems they've left it to you to champion the free will they stood for. Sooner or later, you'll have to make a choice no one can make for you. When that time comes, I hope I can support you. Raven. Okay. That was good on us, though. We knocked that mission out pretty nicely. Okay, so obviously we need to do the Coral Denial, correct? Coral Export Denial. Coral Export Denial. Okay, we so we definitely are doing this. This is a totally new mission. Uh, Coral Export Denial. Central Icefield, Jorgen Refueling Base. Destroy the targets. Prevent export of coral by corporate forces. Immediate mission failure if five or more transport helicopters leave the zone. So it's an interception mission. Registration number RB23. Augmented Human, C4621. Raven. All Mind has identified you as a potential asset to the release project. Mm. Accordingly, we would like to assign you the following mission. Following the attack on Watchpoint Delta, Rubicon has experienced a series of coral upsurges. Of these, the corporations have seized 1.6% of the estimated total volume. They plan to analyze this coral at their research bases and have initiated an air transport operation. We cannot allow the corporations to interfere with the project. Attack the Yorkin refueling base and destroy as many corporate transports as possible. Okay. We are prepared to sacrifice the coral that will be lost upon destruction of the transports. Right. In order to achieve release, we must draw out the full potential of the coral density effect. Mm -hmm. As such, we have no use for coral that has been orphaned from the main population. All Mind anticipates great things from you. Very interesting. Raven, if we're to find a way to achieve coral release, we have to take this request. What is, what game is All Mind playing? So, if we need to intercept helicopters, I assume that I'm going to want long-range weapons. So, uh, let me reconfigure our... A, let me reassemble our AC into something that's going to be a little more capable of that. 
So, what arms? I'm gonna use the wreck. What was it called? The wrecker arms, I think? Where are they? There they are. Also, Roland Ossium subs from Amazon Prime. He's been a sub for eight months. He says, hello. How's it going, good sir? Welcome to the show. We are doing Armored Core. What do I I need to dump a little bit of weight. I probably need to use the flathead. And uh, what, how, what else can I do to dump a bit of weight? Energy shortfall. Wow, maybe I can't do the shotguns. That's a little unfortunate. I really wanted the shotguns. Oh, the shotguns are a bit on the heavy side, I see. Okay, well, what's unfortunate about this is that... You know what? I'm going to do this instead. I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to be vulnerable to being outmaneuvered, so I'm actually going to go with a full laser build. Because the problem is that um, these weapons aren't very good at staggering people. And that's where the, the plasma cannons excel if I can stagger them. So I'm actually just going to go for full offense here. Let's change our fire control system to whatever has the highest medium tracking. All right, so this is a brand new mission we have not done before. Hopefully the... Um I'm hoping that this choice of lasers, combined with our high-capacity thrusters, will, if I need to scramble around the battlefield to intercept these helicopters, combined with these high-powered, like, heavy-duty laser rifles, hopefully that should be enough. If I have to fight an AC, that will be annoying, but we'll see. Kate is with us. Okay, so far so good. We have detected more transports attempting liftoff. Dispose of them. Two repair kits remaining. It seems you're finished here. Man, when they explode, they really Wait. explode. Transport detected below the cliff. Investigate immediately. Can you give me a target marker, please? I would destroy them if you tell me where they are. When you say beneath the cliff, tell me where they you mean. Over here, maybe? Let me get my thrust back. I got toasted by the coral. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. I remember those. Those are the, the fuel things. Okay, so it looks like I don't think they try to escape until we get there. Targets acquired. Multiple transports attempting breakthrough. Move fast. 
Where are the vertical catapults? I agree that would help a lot. I need thrust! Come on, give me the thrust! Got it! Nailed him! Damn, I thought that we would be able to get them. Come on, thrusters! Man, they are not playing Second games. Has escaped. Kate Markson, handle it. Okay, well, they're coming high and low. And that's a lot of them. Oh, man. Got it. Augmented human C4621, Raven. Thank you for your contribution. It seems Kate had matters in hand as well. We shall meet again. Okay, so now we know that Kate works with All Mind. Also, it looks like I was right. The, those laser rifles definitely came in handy there, having that extra reach. Coral storage tanks destroyed? Oh, those were storage tanks. That's interesting. That was an interesting mission. Like, it's cool that these new missions they're adding are also very different scenarios. We got ourselves a deal, Handler Walter. Michigan. So, Archibus met us halfway. I gave them the heavy warship fleet. In exchange, Pretty sure that's the same stuff. Down, they also offered some top Vesper. Yeah, you're mad. Michigan, don't under it. Let's see if we get any unique dialogue from that mission. Raven, there's something that troubles me about Allmind. I've been looking for information on Kate Markson, and there's nothing. Is she another asset to the release project? One new message. Time for work, 621. This next mission's all. Make sure you attend the brief. Okay, this is the ice worm, I think. Yeah, ice worm time. Okay, so this is the Ice Worm. That means we got to get the right weapons on board. We need the needles. And I don't know what I'm going to use for main weapons. Um, these laser rifles will probably be fine for primary weapons. Okay, we got to knock out the Ice Worm. So 
the ice worm is all about just whether or not we can land our hits with the needle spike. If we can land our hit with the needle spike, then we're good. But if we miss, if I stagger my shots, I get two opportunities to hit. into me unfortunately and then he slapped me with his giant metal penis I don't know why I even took that shot only one though Full power. Good, good. We did it. Did watch the bare minimum. This is just the first hurdle. The targets deployed drones, tourist. I'll handle them. Weapons, all weapons fire. Good, good. Wait, something's wrong. Fall back six to one. We've underestimated this beast. My AC is compromised. The coral, it's out of control. Looks like things just took a nasty turn. I'll set the ORC to maximum output. We can't afford to lose control of the situation. This next shot will be my last. Taking significant damage. Might be checking out soon, tourist. Alright, come on. We gotta make it happen. Man, I nailed it. Oh, did I miss? Oh, it it, ta it takes more damage? Oh. Okay. Damn! It just squishinated me. Damn it! It's because I didn't fire both needles. I shot the one needle thinking I was like, oh man, what a beautiful shot that is. I should have just fired both needles. Main system 
That's right, the third one has stronger shielding. Commence mission. Michigan will take command. Commencing operation with combined AC force as per the Balaam Archibus agreement. Move out, maggots! Time to die! Act like a professional outfit and you might live. What does that creep think he is? I ain't here because I want to be. We gotta deal with those pesky shields first. Gun 13! Okay. Rail cannon is good to go. Don't die before I get a chance to fire, buddy. Tourist, got a message from the chief for you. Are we ready? Enjoy the show. Where are you, worm? Okay, good. That's the first one. Good damage. Here we go again. I'm gonna help with the drones this time. It takes them too long to destroy them. All right, let's try this again. Good hit, good hit, good hit. Shield loss confirmed. Preparing to fire rail cannon. Energy turbine output at 80%. Output 95%. 100%. Watch out for friendly fire. Secondary shield down. Okay, phase three. Wait, something's wrong. Fall back, six two one. We've underestimated this beast. My AC is compromised. Okay, I gotta hit it twice this time. Who like wasn't ready? A nasty turn. Okay, we're fine. Oh my god! I shot it twice! How did that happen? Oh no! I was so certain I hit. Oh, this boss is annoying. It's not even like... It's more of a puzzle boss than like a real boss. It's like such a waste of time fighting this guy. Done with its, its initial oh, rampaging about. Tourist, got a message from the chief for you. Enjoy the show, and don't forget to smile. 
good. Shield loss confirmed. Initializing ORC firing sequence. Connecting EML modules. Opening energy turbines. Output at 80%. Sighting correction A OK. 90, 95. Okay. Phase one. That freak actually did it. Did what? It's a bad minimum. This is just the first hurdle. The target's deployed drones, tourist. Time to kill some drones. Come on, you guys, kill the drones. But I'll pass. Shield loss confirmed. Preparing to fire rail cannon. Okay, we can't keep making the same Energy mistake over and over again. Okay, phase three. We need to not get ran over. Okay, we are not going to get smashed again. Okay, I missed, but we didn't get smashed. Woo, good. Okay, no good there. Okay, I thought he was going to poke out, but no, just came out to do some lightning. Didn't have much of an opportunity there. Ah, oh, he surged forward too much. I'm afraid to stay on the ground because I don't want to get ran over, but being on the ground is my best chance of hitting him. It still hit me! What in the world is this? What is happening? We beat him on, I beat him on my first try, last new game plus. What is happening? Oh my god. Agreement. Moving 
It's like, do I need to, like, thrust away? I, I guess I need to shoot and, like, thrust away? I bet I could have shot him there. I might try it next time. As long as it doesn't kill me in one hit, I could not care less. This is V4 Rusty. Rail cannon is good to go. Don't die before I get a chance to fire, buddy. The timing is very delicate. If we use our shield, I may miss my I may not be able to shoot. It's such an it's such a uh, it's such an annoying boss too because it's not even a fun boss. It's oh my god, I'm so sick of the ice worm. It's not even a fun boss either. It's like it's as far as bosses go, it's mainly a puzzle. It's more of a puzzle boss than like an actual boss. And it's like it's not it's one of the less fun bosses. Okay, let's see if we can hit him on the second one. I'm going to try it this time. Hey, it worked! I ramp off that? That's kind of neat. V4, load the next shell. One step ahead of you, okay, let's see if we can score hit. I just took a shot there. Shield loss confirmed. That was like just purely a a shot on just like whatever. I'm just gonna start Energy getting some projectiles out. Phase three. Wait, something's wrong. Fall back six to one. We've underestimated this beast. My AC's compromised. Control. The core. It's out of control. Looks like things just took a nasty turn. I'll set the ORC to maximum output. We can't afford to lose control of the situation. That was a shot in the dark, but I hit it last time on the shot in the dark, so... Wait, I think I might be able to hit it on the weenie dick swing right here.
That was a hit. That was a hit. Okay, one more. One more. Stay cool, buddy. That was a lucky shot. I literally just buddy. took a shot out of nowhere at it. A completely you know lucky shot. Tested. Oh, we're finally done with it. Now we can move on to like bigger and better things. Oh, Chatty lived too. Chatty Stick lived. Okay, we're moving. We're, we're through the tough, the, the long chapter. Not the tough chapter, the long. Chapter three is the longest. Okay, th this is all probably the same. Okay, moving on. Let's consult our guide to see what we need to do next. Now that we're in chapter four. Between the archivists and Balaam groups. I'm guessing this scene is the same. Devastating the Planetary Closure Administration forces and exiling them from Rubicon. Though it was the Ice Worm mission led by Balin that dealt the decisive blow, Archivists, through their own engagements with the PCA, augmented their strength with seized weaponry. The balance of power was broken, the scales tipped in Archibus's favor, and the Rubicon Liberation Front's hopes of fighting an exhausted foe were dashed. Okay, so that didn't change. That was the same the result? Of their common enemy, the rival faction's war for the Coral abruptly reignited. And their bitter conflict burned with renewed intensity. Okay, so chapter four is a lot shorter than chapter three. Augmented human, C four six one new. Me Who's our new message? Doing okay, six two one. I'd wanted to let you rest some more, but the PCA gone. It's back to work. Do you remember the survey? You, my friend, analyzed the data and learned about a watch point. It turns out that the ice worm was defending the entrance. It's time to let ourselves. Okay, nothing new there. Raven, we're getting close to the Coral Convergence. I expect all minds will be getting involved. That's new. Okay, so... Let's consult our guide. What do we need to do in Chapter 4? Coral Export Denial. Defeat all the enemies in the arena. So we got to explore the first three depths. Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and um, we'll, we'll lighten up a bit. Who had the best shooting arms? These ones did. Oops. Switch our head back. I, I kind of want to try. I want to use the. I thought those arms were pretty cool. And um, let me see. Where's the light laser rifles? I'm going to go light on these missions. Actually, I can do the shotguns, can't I? Oh, 
a little too heavy. Just right. Okay, so in we go. Oh, let me change my fire control. No, mid-range is perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this is the one where we got to deal with the, Nepen the Nepenthes or whatever it's called. Here's the job, 621. We'll take out the Nepenthes. This one, I wonder if we can just drop to the bottom. I I'm, I'm actually going to try that. Might be like the speed run strategy. Access the elevator and take it down. Hmm. We have no choice but to jump. Let's go, Raven. Watch out. We'll you. That's the pet piece. It's clearly a force to be reckoned with. Ow, 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 ow. That thing shot way faster than I was expecting. Okay. There's got to be some way to drop faster. I think we need to get to the first checkpoint. Once we get to the first checkpoint, I'll try dropping the rest of the way. Because, like, the doors close on us. Oh, I didn't want to go down yet. Okay. Right over here. Really? There's not a lot of room here. I just want to get down to the first checkpoint. Ooh, just made it. This does not feel like the efficient way down. Oh, 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 man, I slid. Oh, 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 I'm doing it again. Okay, let me walk. I don't remember the drops being this far. Did I just take a really stupid pathway? Two, three, four, five, six. Wait, the partitions move. Okay. Stand by for now. 
Okay, this is our checkpoint. Did you find an access point? Good job sniffing that out. Unauthorized access detected. Transitioning to phase 1.5. Okay, next volley. One repair kit remaining. Two, three, four, five, six. That worked out nicely. We sank like a rock. It just went all the way down. Yeah, you could probably like get like a an armored core with just a truck ton of health and just try to get a really high anti-energy resistance and just try to like sink your way down to the bottom. Well, that was short and sweet. No new messages. Okay, so next we got to deal with um, the enforcement thingy. So let's equip a little heavier. Want a little more knockback. And then I will use these. That looks good to me. Should be like just business as usual, at least for now. Here comes the follow up 621. No new events until I think we could descend just past no three. Fine with me. Like I said, chapter four is fairly short, so I'm not too worried about it. We're making pretty good time. Clear? According to the structural drawings, the route continues past this partition. Looks like the power's out. Let's find a way to bring it back online. Oh. This side path. I don't know what they're talking about, us being the traitor. Wait, the door opens over here, that's right. Now to what? 
This is where G5 Iguazu should be. Uh, image data, STV sketch number five. This is a sketch by STV. Um, it says, couple caught a couple of hired uh, killers on the prowl, managed to sneak in a sketch without being noticed. The fool won't pay back what he owes, one of them said. It's too beat up for me to tell whose AC that is. Yeah, this is where Iguazu should have been. Oh, it's cold call. Okay. Okay. Really? A resupply? What's happening? I mean, I'll take it. Okay, there's the enforcer. What was that? Raven, watch out. That weapon must be guarding the steps. Let's see what data I can find. I think it'll just leave. Yeah, it just leaves. So Cold Call is another guy in the arena. Defense program base 2.5. Intruder proximity to critical sector confirmed. Looks like we're not far from the terminus. Let's find the control room. We'll hack the systems and get the partition data. I guess you can fight every single person in the um In the arena. Set to find them. Raven, let's look for a ventilation duct. We're underground. There must be one somewhere. Coral has an instinct to gather together. And it seems I am no exception. I feel a growing urge to move forward. Ventilation duct identified. Looks like it's connected to the control room. Six. 
Perhaps okay. Now we just gotta knock out the, um, the Enforcer. Another resupply, wow. I guess they expected, um, Cold Call to be quite powerful. I expect the defense weapon will be waiting for us. Be careful, Raven. Enemy analysis complete. That's the Enforcer. An AI-controlled prototype developed by the PCA. It was designed to defend two watch points and eliminate enemy troops. Whatever they're hiding down here, they wanted it to stay Okay, the enforcer's down. Walter should have some data on the next sector. Let's take a break. So that was interesting. Yeah, like they're still sneaking in some differences. We got the um Cold call. I think I feel like we fought almost everyone in the um, in the roster. Defeated liquidator cold call. 160k. Wow. Got a platinum log for that. Nice. No new messages. Okay, so after we complete registration number RB23, call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. Wait, this is Iyer. Sorry, Raven. It's just me. I wanted to let you know that some strange new data has been added to the arena's integration program. Oh, really? Why don't we go and have a look? Oh, really? Okay. Let's go back to annoying missile build. All kinds of different missiles. Okay, there we go. Aggravating missile build. Also, give me the fire control system that has the very good missile locking. Okay, here we are. This is the, oh my, this one doesn't have a name. This is classified subject. Armor core name classified? AC data that Iyer discovered in the integration program appears to be a sample that All Mine was testing. Raven, I was looking for a follow-up to Mine Gamma, but I couldn't find anything here. I did find something else though, a vast horde of prototypes built with Institute parts. But there may be a way to put these to use. Okay. Why not? What is all mined up to? I realized something while I was checking through the program. If that AC uses coral technology, then I should be able to effectively pilot it myself. So the pilot is Iyer, and his name is Echo? Okay. I don't know what to think about this. Wow, she's got missiles too, and they are not nice. They are nasty. Oh, 
Oh, I hit the boundary of the level. Oh, I forgot the missiles are chasing me. Wow, she has some very powerful missiles. They've got great tracking and they hit really hard. Main system, activating combat mode. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to take advantage of my superior um, locking timers to f kind of fire in volleys. Damn, they caught up. Those missiles are rough. Okay, I don't think we can out-missile her. We're going to have to actually fight up close. So we will use ye old Zimzams. I mean, we get close. Like, she does take a lot of damage in the process, but looks like that is not going to be the answer for us. And change our fire control system back to something close range. That's fine. I can't believe we found someone that we can't missile down. Okay, so whatever she's attack, I'm, I'm gonna use my uh, I'm gonna use my um, my pulse armor really early. Like I think she's using the nuke missile. I've seen it in a YouTube PvP. I think that's what it is. She's using the nuke Main missile. System. Activating combat mode. Okay, that was definitely the nuke. There we go. Thank you, Raven. I believe I've learned a lot. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, though? Cleared all arena programs. Okay. We got the Coral Rifle, the NB Redshift. And then we've got the Coral Oscillator, the ML Redshift. What are those? It looked a lot like the Moonlight Blade. Is it like a red version of it? I wonder what the difference is. That was incredible, Raven. There's something I realized when I was playing the role of pilot. Humanity assumed its current form to fight itself. To choose from infinite selections. That is the essence of the human race. And the key to biological evolution. 
Perhaps it is also a clue to what All Might's true goal is. Or you're just crazy. Okay. Let's see what the hell those weapons were. Here it is, the ML Redshift, experimental weapon developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute, manipulates coral swarm intelligence using energy to accompany, to accompany slashing attacks with waves, waves of light, charged to increase output and produce longer waves. Okay, so yeah, this looks like it's very similar to the Moonlight Blade. I guess it's like a coral version of it. Very interesting. What about that rifle we found? I think I passed it by. Here it is. The NB Redshift, experimental weapon developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute, manipulates coral swarm intelligence using energy to produce chain explosions. Charging the weapon increases the number of explosions. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, let's see what it does. Oh. It's not like the plasma gun. Mm, creates like a bunch of sub explosions. Very interesting. Okay, let's check our guide. So, defeat the arena, complete all arena, finish all arena battles. Okay, so we're good. I guess we just continue as normal. Explore depth three, okay. Depth three, I believe, is just the Walter. ephemera. I don't think there's anything special about that. After that, the guide seems to, I mean, I wasn't sure, I didn't read much further on, but. We're going to make it happen. Destroy the reactor and disable the laser barrier. Raven, let's start by finding our way in. Watch your footing. You don't want to fall into those lasers. I don't even think I want to fight the laser platform itself. Defense base. Shoot you down. I level threat. Uh, that's a step up from tr trace around the outside, 621. There must be a way in. Yeah, no need to fight all those shenanigans. In we go. Find the pressure chamber, 621. Destroy it, and the resulting overload will cause the reactor core to explode. The threat to the reactor is at phase 4.5. Fight back, Raven. Okay. Defense weapon destroyed. The pressure chamber is behind the partition. There, six two one. Destroy the target. Pressure chamber destroyed. Get out of there before it explodes, six two one. The partition. Defense program phase five point zero. Have at you. Core 
Ooh, Ephemera's fighting well right now. There we go. Did you get it? Raven, release the partitions. Seventy two thousand for that armored core. That's pretty good. Okay, like I said, we can skip a lot of that stuff and we can take it out pretty nicely. That was a close one. Okay, that's another one down. Good news. Think we're on track for the third ending? This is all the same. Maybe. No need to worry about that. That's all the same. No new messages. Raven, you've got two requests to go with the Orc. One is from the Liberation Front. The other is from All Mind. All Mind? You should consider what your choice means, Raven. For my part, I've chosen to trust in you. Whatever you decide, I know you'll mean it. All right, looks like we got some new missions coming in. So we have Eliminate V3 is what we're looking for. Oh, look at this. Intercept the red guns. Ambush the Vespers, but eliminate V3. That seems pretty good. Watchpoint Alpha, Depth 3, destroy enemy AC, eliminate V3 O'Keefe, Archibus Special Intelligence Officer. Okay. I mean, we obviously are going to take this one. This request comes from All Might. True to form, they've sent us an encrypted message with top level security. I expect it must be about coral release. Augmented human C4621, Raven. There is an obstacle to the project that must be removed. The target is V3 O'Keefe, an Archibus Special Intelligence Officer. A second generation augmented human, O'Keefe was once our ally within the corporations. But it seems he has had a last minute change of heart and means to betray us. You are to ambush the target during his archivist ordered survey of depth three. His records will note death by misadventure. The release project must succeed. Only an exceptional augmented human can be the key. C4621, hmm. Raven. All mind is certain of your success. Those other C's, those must have been the other generations, Gen 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, okay. So we haven't done this mission before. Iyer doesn't seem thrilled about this all mind decision. On the other hand, I'm very thrilled to be doing a totally new mission. Main 
system. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. Eliminate V3 O'Keefe. Looks like they found a strong candidate this time. This guy's really annoying, just hovering around. Are you seriously gonna hover this entire battlefield? I will switch the missiles if I have to. If I just have to bombard you with missiles, I will do it. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna fall back. I need to pull him in. Wow, another pulse barrier. I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm about to say, you're gonna run out of fuel. Cryptic. V3 O'Keefe has gone silent. I see another candidate, I wonder. A key to coal release? We've completed All Might's request. We can go now, Raven. Very interesting. So where are they going to go with this story? Another platinum log? Okay. And another person from the arena we had not battled before. One, two. Augmented human C4621, Raven. The project is nearing fruition. We will meet again when you reach the Coral Convergence. Okay. A little ominous, but sure. Unknown. Okay, now we got to deal with the... Uh, this is... Um, rusty. Six, two, one. So, okay, but here's the thing. What happened... Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We need to quit mission. What happened to ambush the Vespers? Like, I, I, I don't know what happened. Let me, um, I want to redo the briefing here. Main system, activating combat mode. I want to see if the briefing is different, because what happened to Michigan and the Vespers? Six, two, one. We're 
picking up where we left off. Now that you've dealt with the laser barrier, we can explore deeper underground. We've received a request from Archibus to continue the advanced survey. There was something else, too. Orders for Raven, advanced survey squad. We've received some concerning information that an AC has been quietly following your trail. Archibus cannot tolerate unauthorized surveys that will put its coral interests at risk. If you spot this rogue agent, eliminate them. Where there's coral, there's blood. Remember that, 621. I, I guess we don't know what happened. I'm guessing Rusty defeated Michigan? I'm not sure. Does that mean um, Vesper 8 and 5 are alive? This is another really fast mission. Something's jamming the radar. It must be interference from the active coral. Rely on your eyes and ears. Is that coral response from inside the creature? Watch out! Okay, so this should be rusty, unless they pull a fast one on me. No, it's rusty. Go deal with a mercenary who went in alone, they said. Is Flatwell gonna join, like last time? <laughs> Figures. Seems both of us are too dangerous to keep around. And the higher-ups wouldn't miss an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I don't want to dance to that too. This time. I don't have any other choice. I'm coming, buddy. Rusty! Wait! Something's changed since last time. Which one is which? Okay, there we go. I don't understand how I killed Flatwell first. I was aiming at an injured AC. Okay, so this, this one went like the last time where we had to knock out Flatwell. We've lost all signs of Steel Haze. He's escaped. So nothing new there. I'm picking up a major coral response coming from the bottom of the pit. 
Let's keep moving, Raven. And then this should just lead us to the city. I don't think there'll be anything different there. Okay, we've got to... Let, let's see... Are we fighting Cell 240 again, I guess, is the next question. Raven. I see them so clearly. The voices of the... Brothers and sisters consumed. Only a few survived. It looks like we'll... Let's take a... What's happening? Incoming car. Let me tell you a story. There okay, this is the same. Reach the coral convergence. Okay. Let's change our gear a little bit. Actually, I think this is fine. I don't have a problem with this. Okay, so now we got to beat up um, Cell 240 again. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Hopefully I can take her out in a... Hopefully I can take her out in a timely manner. I have had a lot of practice fighting her. Whoa, what's happening? Augmented human C4621, Raven. V2 snail intends to dispose of you once your utility is spent. Proceed blindly, and you will find yourself a prisoner of the corporations. We will transmit his coordinates. Eliminate him. Ooh, oh different. The rest. Let's go, Raven. Handler Walter. Another hindrance to the project. Leave him to us. Okay, sneaky. I like it. Sure. 
Oh, we toasted them. We did it. Augmented human C4621. Raven. What's going to happen now? Well done. Now you are one with us. Welcome to All Mind. I kind of thought Iguazu was going to live there, but I guess we toasted him, and I, I guess we don't have to fight Cell 240 Ibis. Heated all mines warning for an extra 250k. Defeat Snail. Abandon Walter's mission. Oh, penalties. Uh-oh. What's going to happen now? So this is Chapter 5. We've received a message from All Mind. It sounds like they want to bring you under their protection as part of the Coral Release Project. Let's hear them out. What is All Mind up to? MIA, reach the designation coordinates. Okay. Augmented human C4621, Raven. The project is nearing fruition, thanks in no small part to your cooperation. During the battle for Institute City, several of the corporation's key pilots died in combat. We have manipulated the data to state that you too were killed in action. However, you will not be truly safe until you formally accept our protection. C4621, Raven. Return from Watch Point Alpha Depth 2 and head for the rendezvous point. That is all. I mean, wh who am I supposed to be worried about? Like, we've knocked out so many of the um, red guns and so many of the Vespers are down. Like, who could be left? Once you reach the rendezvous point, no one will be able to threaten you. Why, why do they make it? I, I mean, am I in like a massive amount of danger? Do I need to be worried about this mission? Or is it metaphorical? Like, we are in unknown territory, boys. System activating combat mode. Let's go, Raven. The rendezvous point that all my is at that one. It's not far from the surface. What? What are these things? I don't know how, but the watch point defenses are They're on my side! Corporate stragglers still remain within the watch point. We have made some adjustments to make sure that they will not be a threat. They're not attacking me, they're on my side! This is crazy. Open the partition. They're getting overran by them. Without their leadership, the corporations are powerless. A chain made of human links is easily broken. Does the fire hurt me? Yes, it does. Oh god, I just got like Shazam -a lammed by him. Okay. I'm surprised whatever MT that they had to hit that as hard as it did. But the watch point defenses are back online. Corporate 
extractors still remain within the watch point. We have made some adjustments to ensure that they watch out. Sniper out. Fire! If they're not with us, they're against us. We need to get out of here. Retreat! Open the partition! are powerless. A chain made of human links is easily broken. Okay. This is not the direction I thought the story would go. Okay, so that was a unique enemy, or I, I don't know what it was, but that's why it wasn't a normal MT. So that means all of the corps are in, all, all the corporations are in ruins now. All right, moving on. Looks like shotguns were a good choice here. Raven, you are close to the rendezvous point. Okay, if I'm getting a resupply, that means a boss fight. What boss would I be fighting though? Hater was promoted to three? Wow. My old colleague Raven, I presume. Augmented human C4621. Raven. Right to secure the area. You killed V3. You killed O'Keefe. And now I'm going to kill you. I hate high mobility LCs. Right, what about the giant white light, though? Okay, so, completed the, the mission MIA. We've got an achievement for it, so that means something. The story... Satellite orbit. Release the subject from stasis. Understood, Master Allmind. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human. C4621 has awakened. Raven, you've come too. No brainwave abnormalities. Thank goodness. Deepest apologies.
apologies, Raven. It was for the best that you remained asleep until the situation had settled. Allow us to explain. You are in the vicinity of a closure satellite in the Xylem's hold. As anticipated, the corporations have siphoned the coral into a single mass. All that remains is to seize the opportunity to set the coral free. So that it may carry humanity toward new horizons. The coral release is imminent. Raven. Air. You shall be the trigger for the change to come. Okay, so I guess coral release was not cryptic. They literally just mean releasing the coral. All right, so we are on the correct path to the third ending. Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. No new messages. What, what does Air think of this? Raven, we've received a request for Mollard. We've chosen Coral Release to pursue humanity and Coral's potential. Now that the choice is made, we have to carry on, no matter what obstacles confront us. Okay. Regain control of the Xylem. Destroy all parasite modules set by Overseer. Oh, Overseer. We forgot about them. Augmented human C4621. Raven. Only one obstacle to coral release remains. We are now beginning the purge of Overseer, the Association of Observers. They are planning to crash the xylem into the vascular plant and ignite the coral. We want you to stop the ship from within. Destroy all the parasite modules installed throughout the xylem's control center. By doing so, you will free control of the xylem from overseer's meddling, allowing all mind to counter hack the system and initiate a forced shutdown. We have precious little time. Once the Xylem passes the point of no return, a collision will be unavoidable. All Mind anticipates your swift success. Okay, I guess we are back in the Xylem. So once again, this is uh, this is nothing at all like the Liberator of the Rubicon, but at the same time, it does share some similarities. Like for example, we're in the Xylem. All Might is after Overseer. <laughs> Let's get started, Raven. Don't have a lot to say, do you, Iyer? I mean, I don't think releasing the coral is a great idea, but I need all the missions. I think releasing all the missions is a good idea. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy the parasite modules set by Overseer. A number of ghosts from our earlier infiltration remain within the control block. These two have fallen under the control of Overseer. Karma. Disabling them may allow you to extract the locations of the parasite modules. Being attacked from so many different directions. Parasite module destroyed. Commence a counter hack. Engaging Overseer hostiles. Um. Do I need to hold out? Is that what I'm doing here? Or do I need to find the next parasite module? I think it's a holdout, personally. Ooh, I found something. A new item. Starboard 
block looking. Six pilotless ACs, all exact copies of the Vespers. Yeah, same story over here. This is a bad joke. I guess I need to find them all in time. It's so maze-like that I'm, I'm getting lost. By destroying those, it tells me where they are. Target destroyed. Three remaining. Let's keep it up, Raven. I've seen better odds. Wish the Taurus was still with us. Six two one isn't dead. Nothing gets past you. Where could they be? Okay, the time limit's over. That's good. We take a lot of hits, but they don't do that much damage. That's the good news. I guess I just need to keep looking for these. How many of these do I gotta hack? Ow, 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 ow. Am I supposed to be destroying something? I don't, do I just need to hack them or is it like, do I need to destroy something? Like, I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. 
I guess I need to look to see if something needs to be a shot at. What is taking these little pot shots at me? Seems like attacking from below is a good idea. I guess it's like a survival thing. We're doing better. Where? Where? Oh. Chief, I couldn't. Never learn to laugh. The silent control system is silent. Okay. Augmented human C4621, Raven. Your efforts have averted a collision with the vascular plant. Additional. Handler Walter and Cinder Carla have been dealt with. I guess I didn't have to fight them. That was a strange mission. Ooh, this is the nuke missile, I think. The coral missile launcher. The NGI-006. The coral shield, NGI-028. Where does the story go now? Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. Where is this going? Coral release concludes chat. I guess this is the final level. What does this even mean? So, let's take a look at the nuke launcher. Okay, it must be the other shoulder. There it is, the nuke launcher. Prototype coral missile launcher developed long ago by the Rubicon Institute Research Institute. Energy interference applied to swarm intelligence enables coral-based tracking detonation control. Charged to dramatically increase damage potential. Oh, man. Let's see the charge shot. Oh, yeah. That looks interesting. We'll mess with that another time, though. I, I, we got to get the ending. Okay, coral release. Exosphere. A lot, a lot, location station 31. Okay. Augmented human C4621, Raven. We offer you our gratitude. All impediments to coral release have been eliminated. 
and the complications caused by Handler Walter's meddling are soon to be corrected. The final stage is at hand. Together, we shall achieve Coral Release. I, mean, I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but I guess we're gonna do it. What awaits us on the other side? Who is gonna be the final boss? So Ayer was the boss in Fires of Raven. Walter was the boss in Liberator of Rubicon. Who is the final boss here? That does not look like it could be the same Ibis model. I need to get closer, though. siphoned by the corporations is beginning to resonate. Augmented human C4621. Raven, your role has come to an end. Well, well. I've been waiting for this freelancer. I became part of this monster. So I can crush you. This time, you will die. Wait, it's Iguazu in there? Main system, activating combat mode. Am I fighting like everyone in the in the red guns? Okay, we took him out. Black screen. You didn't freeze on me, did you, game? Uh-oh, I think the game might have froze. Come on. Yeah, I think this is I think this is the last mission. Oh my god, why would you do this to me? Oh. Why would you do this to us? Why would you do this to me? Uh, whatever. Like that that wasn't too bad though, even if we have to fight iguana again. Um I'm going to switch to the uh I'm going to switch to the big laser shotguns. And, uh, you know, they're not going to save my prize, so I'm going to have to refight them all again. Of course, it would crash at the moment, at the hour of my victory. It would do that. Okay. Mash the button until we get in. Okay. Yeah, we got to redo it. All right, let's make a few adjustments. 
He's too fast for the, um... He's too fast for those, so we, we, we gotta have the, uh... We, we gotta be, a, we gotta hit a little harder. In fact, this is fine. And let's change our fire control to whatever has the highest short range. Okay, I don't think anything does that. Okay. We gotta get in here and cut this fool down. Augmented human. What awaits us on the other side? Okay, step one, we gotta, like, get rid of his, like, goons. And then we'll focus on, um... Iguazu, who's, like, back from the dead somehow. Main system. Activating combat mode. Great. I don't care about the big plan. I just want that damn freelancer dead. Okay, his buddies are down. Oh, he shut the AC off. All mine did. Uh oh. Irregulars. What is this? We will bring order to chaos. It is a big boy AC. Who is this? Oh, it's Echo. Okay, I mean, let's. Those are some big ass guns. Now, what? I can fight by your side. What is this? Two sea spiders? I'll support you, That damn voice. It was you all along. I'll kill you and the freelancer. Air, your siblings will surely welcome us. I gotta take these sea spiders out. Got it? One repair kit remaining. Where's Iguana at? So who's Iguana, what are you? Interference. I'm losing sync. I I can't fight anymore. Oh my god, I wasn't watching my health. Leave a spot for me in hell. I wasn't watching my health. Okay, so she it looks like she abandons us at 50% health, so it's kind of like when Rusty abandoned. Oh, do I seriously have to fight Iguana every single time? God. 
Let's just go for Iguana. Okay. The problem is that if you try to focus Iguazu down, it's very easy to just get distracted. Like your targeting gets like messed up, basically. Okay. Oh my god! My damn! My shotguns overheated at the last minute! My shotguns overheated. I couldn't pull the trigger on my energy shotguns because they overheated. That would have probably would have been the killing blow, but I just could not land the hit because my shotguns overheated. Let's just... We can't get hit by that plasma attack in the beginning. Main system. Activating combat mode. Okay.
shoulder ammunition at 50%. Who is shooting me? I'm out of ammo? What are you wow. Interference. I'm losing. I ran out of ammo in that fight. Holy crap. I wasn't very efficient with my ammo. Okay, let's try this again. I should just ignore them? Why would I do this? I'm here to, like, dominate this game. I'm going to kill every single person in this. I don't even want to win with them still alive. I want every one of these guys dead. I need to be a little more am ammo conservative. Okay, so what I gotta do is... I need to kill them, but I need to beware of, um... I wonder if I need a weapon, Do, perhaps I need a weapon that has a bit more efficiency to it. I'm trying to think, do I have a weapon in my arsenal that does more damage than this? Let me experiment with different shoulder cannons. I don't think that, um... I don't think these are going to work because I I'll give them a shot, but I don't. I think the problem is they're too they're too mobile, and this weapon loses a lot of effectiveness in the event that um, in the event they move. I told you that I'm not going to do that. Like it, when you get to this part, you you can, can fight it your way. I'm going to fight it my way. And if I want to kill every single person, because I paid money for a hard experience, not an easy experience. Trying to take away my glorious final battle.
Be gone! I always envied you. Be gone! Man, they even had a special final boss. The head reminds me of, uh, the HAL model AC. What? It turned into a black hole? Is it safe to be here? What happens Raven, now? You're finally awake. Let's meet this new age together. What is it like a, a, a singularity event? Main system activating combat mode.
Okay, so I pulled a marathon stream, and so we got the other two endings. So we beat the game basically twice in one day. My arena rank is not F. Get out of here. I couldn't have gotten to this if I hadn't gotten everything. Okay, so what do I think about it all? Reflecting on things. I didn't really care for that ending either. Not in terms of gameplay. The gameplay was awesome. Like, that was great. But in terms of a story, I still would have gone with Fires of Raven. Um, I think that is basically the best. The, the Fires of Raven is the most logical choice. And the reason for that is really simple. Everything we know about the coral is that it's extremely dangerous to the point that it's a it's a planetary threat. It can destroy basically the surface of a planet. It is extremely dangerous and there's no evidence to indicate that we can coexist with this coral life form. Uh, in fact, I urge, that's what she wants you to do. She has no evidence. She just is like, trust me, bro. It'll be fine. Trust me, bro. So if we remove our emotions from the equation and we just look, what is the safest decision to make? It's definitely Fires of Raven. Destroy the coral. Yes, everybody on the surface of Rubicon dies. It's a massive universe, though. The responsible thing to do is contain this extremely dangerous combustible resource. And the reckless thing to do is to allow it to just distribute across the universe, having no idea, like, what it's capable of, like, you know, if it winds up being bad for everyone in the uh, everyone in the universe, well, it's too bad, too late. You've already made that decision. So, I thought that the uh, the the best ending, not from a gameplay perspective, but just from a story perspective, was the fires of Raven. Like, if I were in the seat and I were the one making the decisions, if I was Raven, that's the decision that I would go with. I would have uh, destroyed the coral. Because, yes, it would have basically um, consigned Rubicon to being a dead planet. But in the grand scheme of things, I would rather have a dead planet than what, whatever, than the unknown possibility of what would happen if the coral entity were released into, the, you know, the galaxy, essentially. The All Mind, I don't even know if All Mind knows exactly what the, um... I don't even know if All Mind knows what it does. All Mind just knows how to release the coral. Uh, All Mind, I don't know if All Mind knows what the, um, the coral itself does. And also, do we want to allow a computer entity to make decisions for like presumably the entire galaxy and if not the entire galaxy what the solar system like it's uh, do, do we want an AI being making that decision for everybody my answer to that is no like I would not trust a an AI being with that kind of responsibility like to me this is a very SCP thing like, you know, in the SCP universe, they would not allow the coral to escape. They would absolutely contain the coral. That says Gundam. Head of brand development, Gundam? What is that? I would love if they made a Armored Core 6 or a Soul Spin on Gundam. That would be amazing. But, yeah, so I'm going to rank the ending. So, number one was Fires of Raven. And I didn't like the other two, to be honest. Um, I didn't really care for the fires of Rubicon, or a liberator of Rubicon didn't really make sense to me, and neither does the All Mind ending. Now, what about the most epic end conclusion? I also felt like Fires of Rubicon, not Fires of Raven, had the most epic final boss. Um, the showdown with Ayer was like really epic. Um, her her final boss, I don't think she's the best final boss. I found her to be a little bit on the repetitive side. 
Uh, she didn't have a lot of attack variety, which I think made her a much weaker boss compared to Ibis Cell 240. Ibis Cell 240, I think, is a really well-designed boss. Like, she, uh, Ibis Cell 240 has a lot of pump-out fakes, like uh, faint attacks, attacks that have, like, variation, even though they look similar. Uh, but at the same time, there's still time to, like, react to the attacks. Whereas, um, I, what she does is, like, she's basically, like, Cold Steel the Hedgehog. She's, like, teleports behind you, nothing personal. And I didn't find that to be, like, a very fun kind of boss. But overall, I mean, like, obviously I think that this game is fantastic. I think it's instantly the best of the Armored Core series. And I think it's going to do wonders for the mech genre in general. I, th I uh, Asmongold said as soon as he beat Armored Core 6, he wanted to play other mech games. He was digging into his closet for old mech games. That's great. I think that we need... I. You know, like, basically, I think what we mainly need is Battletech slash Mech Warrior, Armored Core, and Gundam. If we could get, like, good quality games of those, like, we would be feasting for days uh, in the mech genre. So, like, obviously, this game is fantastic for it. Now, you know, here's one thing I am disappointed by. I kind of wish there was a fourth ending. Because, like, I don't really see Fires of Raven being the bad ending. I see it as a neutral ending. I kind of wish there was a bad ending, though. What happened to the corporate ending? Why isn't there an ending where you can lead Balaam and Dafung or Arcubus and Schneider to victory? Like, where is that ending? Like, I think that would be the bad ending. Whereas, uh, ba basically, this is how I would rank it. There should have been a bad ending where you either team up with Michigan or you team up with um, V2 Snail and you lead that corporation to victory, that could be the bad ending where you, like, enslave Rubicon. You, like, start oppressing the, like, the... You start, like, you know, like, forcing everyone into, like, labor and whatnot. That would have been the bad ending. Then you'd have two neutral endings. Fires of Raving would be a neutral ending. And then, um... Liberator of Rubicon would be another neutral ending. And then, like, you know, the All Mine one could be the secret ending. The coral goes bad? When does the coral go bad? I mean, because in the, um... In, in the Liberator of uh, Rubicon ending, barbecue is just... Our, 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 I always call him barbecue. Like, our barbecue. Our Arcubus is, like, packaging it all up. Aaliyah Lacta Est. What does that mean in English? Alia Lacta Est. Let's find out what does that mean in English. Alia Lacta Est. The die is cast is what it means. Okay. Interesting. Let's see uh, how many missions we did not collect all the logs in. Unlikely Lotus says this ending adds a lot of possibility. It certainly does. It's the most perplexing ending. RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. Okay, this is like new game plus 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 plus. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Like yep, yep, yep. We passed the authentication. You have completed every mission. Nice! That means um, I can now see what logs I'm missing. Okay, so let's... So this is... We're back at the beginning again. So, replay mission. Let's go all the way to the bottom and look back. So we did not get all of the logs in MIA. That makes sense. I didn't really explore. So that's one mission. Two missions. Stop the secret data breach. That one I also didn't explore that much in. Prison rescue. So here's a third one. Um, I guess I needed to explore more. Maybe there was like a, a bonus enemy that we didn't fight. 
So I'm only missing three groups of logs. So I'm guessing Hunter Class 15 is the maximum. Let's look at the arena and see if we fought everyone in the game. We fought Rummy. Index is in that level. I don't feel like we ever fought G6 Red. Has anyone fought G6 Red? So that's... I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll count him. So that's one guy I, that's not accounted for. Uh, we fought Nozark, Materlink, Little Z, Swinburne, Wu Ha Wai, Ring Freddy. He's like a hidden guy in um, in one of the missions. Hawkins, yes, we fought Hawkins. Obviously, we fought Iguazu. Roku Monson, it happens when you betray. Volta, yeah, we do fight Volta. We have fought Pater and Sula. Chatty, Middle Flatwell, O'Keefe, Cinder Carla, Cold Call, Rusty, Honest Brute. Did we fight Nile? I want to say we fought G2 Nile. Yeah, yeah, we fought Nile in the prison breakout. Snail, Chartreuse, Thumb Domayan, yeah, King, Michigan. So the only one that's unaccounted for, unless unless I just forgot about it, was G6 Red. These must just be fillers. Okay, let's go buy some stuff. So we, we have almost everything in the game. All that's left are a handful of weapons. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to... Let's just start spending our money. We got like 8 million cash -aronis. Can I just push the enter button? Oh, there we go. Much faster. Yeah. Let's just buy all of these up. Oh my god, I think I got enough money to buy all the weapons. Well, maybe not. Oh! All available parts have been purchased. I didn't get an achievement, though, so that means that there's probably... There's probably some um, collectibles that provide weapons that I don't have. So, what is left to do in the game? Well, I, as you can see here, I began to work on getting S ranks. So I can get all of the S ranks. That's something that we can do. We can like assert our dominance. Some of them are going to be pretty tough. Like, getting an S rank on Coral Release, that one sounds like... That one's going to take a minute. Um, we got to get the logs. I'm probably going to do a collectible sweep. I'll probably like sweep through the game and, you know grab all the collectibles and then we'll have all the parts and then you know we can play around in the pvp mode where now we'll be able to use anything we want in the game like we'll have like access to basically everything look at all these weapons so many weapons i mean that's so great like they give you so much in this game like there's just so many weapons, and sure some of them are variations of one another there's no doubt about that. Like, obviously, some of them are bigger models, smaller models. Nevertheless, like, e even if you take that into account, there's still so many weapons. Let me see if I can, like, touch all of the weapons once, just so we can get rid of the mar the, war the marker saying that I... Though, by the way, there's things you haven't seen. So here's something that annoys me. I'll get right to it. There's way too many biped legs. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's fifteen biped legs. There's three tank legs. There's two spider legs. And there's like five chicken legs. Why are there so many biped legs? Why not take two-thirds of the biped legs and distribute them amongst the chicken legs, the tank legs, and the uh, the spider legs. Nothing here that's interesting. Okay, that's all fine. I mean, what else could I be missing? Pulse armor, maybe? I wanted to like I wanted this little like icon to disappear, but I don't know. I don't know. Do the chests reset? They do not. 
No, like, you definitely save them. You definitely get to save those. Also, you can max out everything. As you can see right here, there are exactly enough OST chips to max out every single skill. So you, uh, I mean, in the beginning, you'll have to pick and choose. And then I'm guessing, like I said, Hunter Class 15 is probably the maximum. All right, though. So we are going on nine hours into the stream. So this, like I said, this is a hell of a marathon stream. I really wanted to do it, though. I really wanted to hammer out these missions and uh, get all of the endings. We unlocked all of the missions. That means I can replay them. Uh, we bought all the weapons. Unless there are unless there are a few more unlockable weapons, I will probably get the rest of the logs off screen. But yeah, I'll be playing some more Armored Core 6. We'll probably start doing some S ranks. Because like I said, this game is super fun. I enjoy it, like, extensively. If anyone has any questions, though, feel free to ask. Let me go ahead and post my links. There's my Discord, and then the second one is my VODs channel. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, you can certainly ask any questions about Armored Core. I, I am more of a YouTuber than a Twitch creator, and I do create a lot of guides and teach people how to play. So I can certainly give advice on how I got to the point that I am in Armored Core 6. And um, if you missed any episodes, just follow the VODs channel. That's where I upload all of the episodes. This episode will be up tomorrow. As usual, though, thank you guys so much for being a fantastic audience. I enjoyed this playthrough quite a bit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. And like I said, if you've got any questions, you know, just let me know. You can find me on my social medias as well. You know, Twitter or X, I'm sorry. Facebook, you know, Instagram, whatever. You can ask me questions anytime and I will answer them to the best of my capabilities. Till next time, though, I have not set the next schedule up yet. Um, I will... I will update the schedule as soon as I know when I'm going to be playing next. I do have some recording and stuff to do, so I won't be able to, to do that. Like, let me look at the calendar. Calendar says, so like calendar, Tuesday and Wednesday, obviously, you know, we mop things up on those two days. I might add more streams here. It just depends. But I do have all these things here that they're all on my social media as well. So if you ever wonder when I'm streaming, that's the best way to find out. Till next time, though, everybody, I will be in the Discord if anyone wants to talk. I will be uh, jumping in the voice chat, actually, because I'm going to be wanting to talk about it. I'm seeing you there, Zen Master. Better get your dumb ass up inside my voice chat, because we're going to talk about what the hell just happened. Anyways, till next time, everyone, remember that you don't have to... This is true. Like My slogan is that you don't have to be good to get good, and there's a lot of wisdom in that slogan. And it really shows in this game how ineffective I was originally. And then my, on my armored core, the laughing one, just crushed it after, like, several hours of practice. You really don't have to be good to get good. And that's why I didn't want to rush down the boss. I wanted to kill every single enemy because I paid $60 for... A challenging experience and I, I'm like a samurai I want iron against iron I want steel against steel I want fire and doom in my game and I got what I wanted at the end of the day till next time everybody remember that you don't have to be good to get good